Just set her on the desk. Hi, Snap. Hi, Snap. <laughs> anyway, hi, everybody. Oh, we got a tail. Great fun. <laughs> Olive, Dragon, Aspen, Terra, Crystal, Steve, oh, thank you for the subs. No, I probably won't kill any Sims today, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Snappy's here, though. She might kill some Sims. You never know what to expect. But anyway, hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. <laughs> uh, Robin and Mia and, and Mai and Kayla and Lil Simsy and Loon and, and, um, and Bank and did I miss anybody else? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, it's been a couple days since I've been live. I didn't stream Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Did I, Snappy? No, I didn't. I didn't. But now me and my cat are back and we're going to play some Sims. Um, also, I saw someone ask my thoughts on the pronoun update. <laughs> I posted a video today. I, I didn't post a video um, on Tuesday when the stream happened because I was not around. I was staying at my parents' house, so I wasn't at my PC. But I posted a video a couple hours ago or an hour ago talking about the update and stuff. So if you want to watch that, I did post it. I'm very excited. TLDR, I'm very excited. And also, I... Um, I think it looks pretty good, <laughs> but obviously it's like, you know, it's very, very early, early progress. Um, anyway, Little Tika, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that. Um, and Half Moon and Juju and Shari and Purple and Mixie and Joe and Peachy and, uh, and Petals and Rinny and Black Nightshade and Tar Heel and T-Dog and Ivy. And thank you all for the subs, everybody. My cat just got off my desk. Sorry if you saw a butt. <laughs> you, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> um, bye, Snappy. Oh. Hello. You can come back if you want. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's weird. She's in a weird mood. Anyway, um, so today we're going to play with the Potts family for a little bit. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, her little out of focus head. I know. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're going to play with the Potts family. Uh, I realized also when I loaded into the save, I was like, oh no, Jam is like in her young adulthood. We need to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> when you play on a short lifespan, this, the clock is ticking. We need to have kids. Um, so, <laughs> we probably should start that today, to be honest. Um, so, I, I think that'll be our plan. But that is not much time. <laughs> we are running out of time. Uh, Gretchen and E-Pain and Bookworm and, and Juan and Shoechick and Ugly and Alice and Rainbows and Pebs and Lexi and Spark and Ivy and T-Dog. Thank you all for the subs and stuff, too. Um, you're watching the whole legacy on YouTube right now. Oh, I hope that you have fun. Um, honestly, I kind of rewatch my own. I kind of want to rewatch my own legacy on YouTube because I've had so much fun with that Let's Play that I want to want to see it. <laughs> I love those Sims. Um, but anyway, we're gonna play with the Potts family today, so that should be nice. That should be nice. And then we're gonna play Minecraft later, but not until like seven. Um, but. Anyway, <laughs> oh Meg, I'm glad you appreciated that part. <laughs> I'm, the video I made today, I tried to, um, I, I know that like, okay, I feel like I'm, I'm like preaching to the choir with a lot of you guys, like uh, most of, most of us are on the same page, but, um, in the video I made today, I talked about like pronouns and stuff because of the pronoun update, and I was trying to like explain pronouns in a real, a way that like makes it really easy to understand for people, <laughs> and I, I felt, I didn't want to like, I don't know. I, I recorded a bunch of times. So I didn't want to come across like, like I was talking down on people. I wanted to be like, hey, this is what a pronoun is. This is how it works. Isn't that cool? Like, it's really easy to use people's pronouns, isn't it? Like, I was trying to present it in that way. <laughs> um, so I, I appreciate that you guys liked it because I wasn't, I didn't want it to come across like I was talking down to anyone. Um, I was a little bit worried about that. But anyway, um, that's what I was trying to do. So <laughs> uh, that was, that was the plan. And I hope that it worked. I don't know. And maybe be a little bit vaguely threatening. Yeah, a little bit, but you know. <laughs> Diana, Ali, Caitlin, uh, Rochelle, and Julia, and Lainey, and Jess, and Richard, and Bianca, and Mar, and 16th Rose, and Weiwei, and Coffee, and Tabitha, and Cupcake, and Julia, and Lacey. Thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna play, um, like I said, with the Pods family, just to keep you up to speed. Uh, these are all my graves. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> this person died at the at the bar when I was trying to get my simmies. A few of these people aren't related to me. I, most of them, no, 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 no. Some of them died of old age. Some of them 
aren't in my family and I just took their graves home when they died like elsewhere. Like you know when you go to the bar and somebody dies and you're like, oh my god, now there's a Grim Reaper here and I'm just trying to go to the bar, but like some old person just dropped dead at the bar. Anyway, I usually bring their graves home. And then a, a lot of these people I did kill, but you know, that's okay. It's nine generations, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> Emily and Beck and Karen and Nicole and Danny and Jesse and Key Lime and Courtney and Shannon and anyway Kate and Jordan and Emily and Luther and Lil and Avengers I don't, I don't know. Thank you all for the subs. Also Terrible Toad, thank you for the five gifted subs. Um, Witching and Special and Camilla and, and Thura and Ghost and Lacey, thank you all for the subs too. Um, well look, I'm just trying to be to be honest. I did kill a lot of these sims, but that's okay. Also, this guy, I don't think I ever gave him a makeover in cast. Oh! He won't be a young adult for two more days. Maybe I should do this now while we wait for people to load into the stream. That might be a good idea. Um, oh, Erica, so the movie party that we did last night, last Friday, um, we did a watch party. Erica asked how it was because they couldn't stick around. Thank you for the for the tier three 35 months, by the way. Um, but we got to do a watch party of a new movie called Hotel Transylvania 4. <laughs> Um, last week on Friday for like a sponsored stream as well, which is so cool because um, it came out on Friday and they wanted me to watch it. So we watched it and it was really fun. I mean, it look, it's a it's a, like a silly, easy to watch, funny, silly, goofy movie, you know, um, and just I really liked it. I thought that the, the watch party was super fun. I tried to look at like other things that are on watch parties on Twitch afterward. Um, and the thing is, there's not that many things that are on- well, there's a lot of things on watch parties, but, like, a lot of them aren't good. Like, I try- I, I don't know. I, nothing I could find was like, oh yeah, I want to watch this with, like, the whole stream. We did have two other kids, yes. So this- this one is the heir. Her brother moved out. Her- her twin brother moved out. Um, this is her younger brother. His twin sister- there's two sets of twins. The first twins, one of them is still here, her brother moved out. The second twins, one of them's still here, the other one died. No, so you can't watch anything on Amazon Prime for a watch party, Plain Poet, um, but you can watch some things. It's so weird. <laughs> like, they're not- most of the things that you might hope are on there aren't. Anyway, she was a vampire, okay? She had to go. The sin that died. I don't know how to tell you this. She was a vampire and she stood in the sun for too long. It's not my fault. It literally isn't my fault though. She did it herself. She refused. She kept going out. Not my fault that you're dumb. Okay? I don't know what to say. You had a choice. <laughs> you knew what would happen. <laughs> wait, wait, Caddy and Kelsey and, and Harley and Turtles and, <laughs> and Ian, Molly and Zimmer, Sarah and Danielle and Peggy and, and Penn and Eleni. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Olivia and Sari and Bree and Julie and Miss Hatter and Jesse and I don't know. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Lia with the gift subs. I'm not trying to. Um, but this guy, you can probably tell, but he's related to Caleb, the vampire. I have a birthday song to sing. You can't stop me! You can't stop me! I'll do what I want! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I love this family. I'm having a great time. Why is it being so laggy? This is not nice. Is that new? No, I, th I think... This came with, um, that's Get Famous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Get Famous. It's one of the costume hairs from Get Famous. It's an unlockable. I think I only have it because I had a sim in the actor career. Um, he's a distinguished gentleman. Wow. <laughs> Give me a tux again. Oh, we can do this one. No, that's too modern. It's too, like, trendy. 
Is that really what you're picking as your formal wear? Yeah, that's fine. Did you know, who is it? Is it Gucci or someone else? Versace maybe? I saw a TikTok of this person who got a Versace robe for Christmas uh, and I looked it up and it's $600. They're really ugly too. They kind of look like this. <laughs> this is kind of the vibes. I think it is Versace. Let me see if I can show you. Wait. Should I buy one? Oh, they have a pink one. Wow. Okay, sorry, I did exaggerate. It's not $600. It's $595. Um, and as you can see, They're a real steal. <laughs> it's it's quite the deal. <laughs> what a bargain. <laughs> Breezy and Kate and Hattie and Bookworm and Miss Purple and Twisted and Kenzie and Mackenzie. Kenzie and Mackenzie, both in a row. Uh, Simmer and Kat and Lisa and Cheese and Cece and Bree and you smell. With the subs, Forever Ladybug and Tegan and Alex and Karen. I love just the you smell thrown in there. I I respect it. Was there one that was a thousand over there? Oh my god. You know, I can't I can't support that. <gasps> Snappy! Did you want out of Dan's room? Were you done? You keep going back and forth. You're making your rounds? Yeah, I know. I understand. You can keep that. Okay. <laughs> Marissa and Aaron and Serene and Duffel and Nocturnal and KM, thank you all for the subs. Um, okay, you can wear this. That seems like it's a good choice. And then maybe- no, you can't wear that. That's not a good choice. Okay. What do you guys think about, like, the pirate costume? I'm sorry, I won't do that. I'm just- I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Margo, Den, Kate, AJ, Aussie, and Marissa, thank you for the subs too, and Ingrid as well, thank you so much. Um, maybe I'll give him the pirate costume for his cold weather outfit. Or his swimwear! Oh my god, I know what to do, 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 I know what to do. Wait, let me filter by party, it'll be easier to find. I think that makes a lot of sense, personally, outfit category, party wear is one of them. He's gonna need it. Oh, yes. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just can't think of anything better than that. Okay, you can't wear this. Maybe you could be like a little lad. I feel like that might work. I'm gonna take the hat off though. Okay. And then cold weather. I'm sorry, this guy totally like doesn't matter at all. I kind of want to do the pirate thing again. I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyway, this totally doesn't matter at all. He's like my Sims little brother. He's probably gonna move out soon. Like, and yet here I am dressing him as a pirate. He's still a teen, so we still have some time until he moves out. It's being so laggy. I might need to restart my game. Something's being weird. Um, do I think anyone will die today? Well, <laughs> look, we know how this legacy goes, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. The straws and Dewdrop and, <laughs> and Helen Mix, thank you all for the subs. I'm not gonna kill him on purpose. I'm not gonna kill anybody, but like, look, someone's gonna die at the bar. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. It is extremely likely, okay? Pirate, go swimming with the fishes? Oh no. Do you dare me right now? Do you dare me right- no, no. Do you dare me right now? Right now. Just, just one- one little test run. One little test run and then I'll play The Sims. It's just one. Just one little test. He's prop. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably 
probably gonna be fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, no, no. Oh god. I just went live. It's been 15 minutes. It's fine. I'm gonna let it happen. Um, man, I was kind of excited about the pirate thing. I'm not going to lie. Is it too late to plead for him? I mean, it might work. No, no, wait a second. Wait a second. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Come here. Don't hurry up. Come on. Come on. Don't take him. I wasn't ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I did try. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. Just take him. Just take him. Get it over with. Please. I can't look at this anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not kill this. I killed two out of four kids in this generation. I swear, I didn't think he was gonna die that fast. I was actually not expecting that. I'm kind of impressed. That's hard work. Oh yeah, I dressed him up as, a, so basically what happened in the last five minutes. I dressed up this Sim's younger brother as a pirate. <laughs> and then I thought, hee hee, let's have him go try swimming with the fishes. It didn't work. And now I have to change the stream title. One Sim. was harmed in the making of this stream. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and, uh, Jed is dead. So. I don't know. I really didn't see that coming. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really surprised right now. Do you guys want to go try and get some simmies? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I opened up stream and immediately a sim dies. Look. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> Play and Rachel and Buck and Brittany and Jasper and Belle and Caitlin and Pio and Tiny and KS and Backwards and Kenda and Maya and KitKat and Emmy. Thank you all for the subs. Oh. I'm not out of control. I'm not out of control. This is fine. One simmy, okay? One simmy. I came to the wrong place. Why did I come here? This isn't right. I know where the simmies are, and it's not there. <laughs> Panda raid, uh-oh. Are you guys sure? <laughs> I've been live for 18 minutes. I already killed my sims, little brother. Welcome in. Welcome, raider. <laughs> Oh no, never ending Nancy and Dear Prudence, thank you for the subs. Okay, I'm just gonna go get a simmy real fast. Two simmies, two. I'll get two simmies. Two simmies. And then I'll stop, I promise, I promise. See, that was fine. I got one simmy, no problem. It's the pit beast! Okay, 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 okay. So you know how we played Sims Medieval? Uh, the other day, like last Friday, or Saturday, or whenever. The Pit Beast! The Pit Beast! Anyway, that's a good one. Okay, I'm Princess Cordelia. Those are pretty boring simmies. I'm just gonna go home. I can't do this anymore. Is P- wait, 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 sorry. The okay, guys, concept. You know how her brother, the one who's not dead, the one who moved out, because he, he lives here- with his, um, with his pregnant girlfriend. Um, hear me out. His name is PB, Pit Beast. That wasn't our intention, but it kind of works. 
Okay. <laughs> anyway, ACP and, and Vampire and Yan and Riv with the 31 months and Vegan and Crispy and Selly and Mona. Thank you all for the subs too. Okay. So sorry, everyone. Let me just put up my simmies and then, um... I need a new house. Shoot. She really needs a new room, doesn't she? Should I do that now? I probably should. Well, we don't need this room anymore either because, well, you know. <laughs> I won't build the new house today. I think I'll just live in this house for a little bit and then um, we can build a new house maybe on, wait. I'm gonna build, wait, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna build tomorrow, wasn't I? Oh yeah, we're gonna build tomorrow. Oh, let's make the new house tomorrow. That's fine, we'll do the new house tomorrow. I'll leave the basement like that for now. And then we'll leave that room empty because just in case I need to have any kids. Um, I'll probably put, I might save some of these decorations for the child that I'm probably gonna have like today. So I'll just keep those. And then in here, do you guys think that I could get a, Oh, I already have the Pit Beast one. Okay, they're both duplicates. That's boring, whatever. Anyway, do you think that I could get like a double bed in here? <laughs> I don't know. We can try. Oh, that's good money. Hang on, I'm rich. Okay, wait. Yeah, we really need to try for a baby soon. Just made the bedroom bigger. Well, no, it's fine. It'll be fine. We also don't necessarily need to have that desk there. Do I have a computer? Yeah, we have an office downstairs, so I don't really need to have this desk here anyway. So it's fine. And if I need to move it, then I will. But it might be fine. Um, now we have good money. And I'll get like a little double bed. Not like a big double bed, a little double bed. Whatever that means. It, maybe it could be a cute one. Maybe we could go for like a minty color now. I don't know. Jade and B and Caitlin and Nut and Schmuddle, thank you for the subs. Oh, Snappy's here. Wait, look. That is my cat. Right there. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Green? The green could be nice for now. Maybe I'll make these gray to match the bed a little. I just want to like modernize it a little bit, you know? Um, this bed is from Eco Lifestyle. So, I don't know. We will see. Maybe I can just stick it in the corner. I think it would work in the corner like that. Well, actually I can still get like the tiny nightstands, can I? It'll still fit. We need more tiny ones like these ones from Dream Home Decorator because those are perfect. No, I wanna put it against the wall. I'm gonna put it against the wall. Maybe I'll use this one. Okay. Do I download CC? Yeah, I've got loads of CC. I don't have it in my game most of the time though. Um, the CC that I have in my game right now is actually <laughs> Hotel Transylvania custom content. Um, Cause I, I downloaded um, some Hotel Transylvania custom content for my sponsored stream last week. Uh, and I kept it in my game cause I kind of liked it. So <laughs> the CC that you're seeing, if you see any like build custom content right now, it is, I'm not even kidding. I'm dead serious. It's, it's Hotel Transylvania custom content. So, not even a joke. <laughs> Fully, that, that is the truth. <laughs> How did you get it? It's on The Sims Resource. They did like an official collab. Um, a bunch of CC creators made it, so. Elizabeth and Mittens and Raquel and Bailey and Pink and Rachel and AJ and Gio and Jaden and everybody, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I think maybe a lamp. I don't wanna spend too much time on this because 
I'm just gonna bulldoze it tomorrow and like build a new house tomorrow. So we don't need to like spend like all day today um, working on making a new bedroom, you know, just because we're gonna replace it so soon. But um, we can do a little bit. Um, you want this rug in real life? It's so cute, isn't it? I know, I, I want it in real life too. I like that one a lot. Um, Carol and Famous and Elizabeth and Mittens, thank you for the subs. So when I get my new office, I kind of want like a rug that's sort of like this vibe, to be honest with you. I think that's so cute. Like at least that kind of color scheme is what I'm going for. And there's going to be like wood floors. Maybe not that color, but you know, it's going to be so cute. <laughs> Shelly and Kira and Green Plum Mob and Paula and Carol, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay, I think... Oh, these shelves are only the base game. Um, these shelves aren't like anything fancy. Why? Does that look like not the right height to you? That's the right height. Those are just base game shelves though. Um, you found the eco lifestyle rug on Wayfair? You know, they probably have a lot of stuff like that on there. Um... Can we put this butterfly painting in here? I'm not even kidding. I'm dead serious about that. I think that's so cute. Maybe I'll use it for now. She deserves a slightly upgraded bedroom, you know? And here's a photo of her and her girlfriend. Maybe I could put that on the dresser or the nightstand or whatever it's called. That's cute. Wait, set filter, right. Oh, I'm gonna use this, hang on. Oh, I can't like, oh, you can't alt place it. Stinky, whatever, it's fine. Little Dika forced me to buy bits, not clickbait. <gasps> you were forced to give me money? <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. <laughs> Josie and Katie and Marissa and, and Latest and, and Trevor and Earth and Fenza and Shelly and Kira and Green Plum Bob. Thank you for the subs. Yeah, you can put pictures on shelves. It's kind of cool. Um, you can put pictures on shelves like that if you want to. Um, they cha Or like on tabletops, basically. Anything... The Grim Reaper is still here. You can put stuff like that um, on like any surface now. That happened an update somewhat recently, but not really that recently. <gasps> we need to adopt a dog. Oh, because our last dog died at the very end of last episode. Maybe I'll buy a pizza. And then I'll get a dog. <gasps> Let's do it. Oh, how exciting. Okay, to replace my dead brother, I will be getting a pet. No, that's a delivery, not a service. Hang on. <laughs> Why do you have a food bowl and no pet? Okay, should I get a puppy or a cat? I'm- d I- can I get a poll? I'm taking suggestions. I don't care. <laughs> can I name the pet pirate? We could name the pet pirate after the dead brother. I'm okay with that. And Pancake and Helly and AP Fleeks and Vardis and Golden Elvers, thank you for the subs. Both? Oh, I can't do both. I can't do both. I'm sorry. I- I'm not capable of caring for both at the same time. So. Dan is talking about my ring. <laughs> I just heard him say- I heard him say my name and then I heard him say that we looked at rings together. Anyway, there's a poll. There's a poll. Right now- oh, it's pretty close. 47% puppy, 54% kitty, 46% puppy now. So most people want a cat, but there's still a little bit of time. You could still change this. Don't worry, I still have a rat. I already have a rat, so. Don't worry. <laughs> I think cat's gonna win. They've got 53% of the vote still. 728 people, 745 people, 762 people. Yeah, it's gonna be a kitty, okay. Let's do it. I'll get a cat. I'm ready. It's not close at all? Yes, it is. 6% difference. There was 710 people that wanted a puppy and 801 people that wanted a kitty. <gasps> 
No, you've got to be kidding. Look at how weird this one looks. I'm going to bring them both here. No, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Poppy's an elder. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. We got bad on all fronts right now. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I forgot it was her birthday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I did forget her birthday. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the pizza! Oh no, Jedward sent Poppy a gift! He died about 15 minutes ago! <laughs> Amanda, thank you, for the, thank you for the 10 gifted subs! And Tab and Sunday and Oat Milk and Amanda and, and uh, BK and C's and everybody, Moya too, thank you for the subs! Okay, let's look at the cats for a sec. Here's what we're working with. <gasps> Stop! to get them both. I might have to get them both. I might have to get them both. Okay, fine. I'll get them both. Okay. <laughs> what should I call them? That one's name is Taco. That one's name is Rosie. We were gonna name them Pirate. At least one of them was gonna be Pirate. We could have them be named Taco and Pirate. Although I think that Taco would make a better cat named Pirate than Rosie would. So maybe I'll switch them. Well, wait a minute. What if we name you Blobby? After Blobby from Hotel Transylvania. Can I show you? Look, 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 look. Blobby Hotel. You'll, once you see, you'll understand. I'm not kidding. Do you get it? Do you understand what I mean? I feel like it works. Okay, this one can be Blobby. Blobby! Okay, that's my first one. Now, where's the other one? If you don't come back here right now, I will cry. Are you under the couch? Help! Why am I trying to duck down and like it's gonna make a difference? Duck down, Kayla. You're <laughs> well, I didn't meet that one yet. Okay, just be on the lookout for movement. If you see a cat, let me know. I'm gonna come take this pizza real fast. On top of the fridge? Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. <laughs> we were looking down and we should have been looking up. Okay, this one's pirate. I'm very excited right now. <laughs> uh, Evelyn and Snarky and Megan and Moya, thank you for the subs. Oh, you got your booster today? I'm so glad. Dan's gonna get his booster, um, like, next week. As of, as of, like, next week, he's gonna be able to get it. So we're gonna get it, like, as soon as we can. That's the plan. Um... All right, you're real sad. I need to make sure I have a litter box, because I didn't have a cat before, I had a dog. Um, so maybe I'll put the litter box, like, honestly, I'll just put it up here. I'm not worried. Um, I've had my booster. I don't mean to brag, but. <laughs> oh, we could get a cat tree as well, probably. Hmm. Are there any good spots for it? Maybe I'll put it in the office. Honestly, I don't care how big it is. Have it take up the whole space. Cat room, cat room, cat room. Okay, I'm feeling really good about this. <laughs> I won't lie to you, I'm really excited. We had a sad beginning of the stream, you know, one of my Sims died and everything, it was terrible. 
Where's my pizza? Did you put it in your inventory? Did you put it in the fridge? You said I had my pizza. So where is it? Are you lying? <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna just make some dinner really fast. Well, I'm just gonna make some dinner really fast. Um, in the office? The pizza's in the office? Oh, the pizza's in the office! Oh, you weren't even kidding. Oh, okay. Well, I put it in the fridge, so we have it tomorrow. <laughs> Also, the cats can get clothes, although I think one of them is still a kitten, so we can't, we can't dress the kitten yet, but we can dress this one. Maybe I'll give a makeover to Poppy, too. <laughs> I love you so much! Okay, sorry. Blobby here is clever, aloof, and skittish, and pirate is talkative, clever, and a prowler. I feel like there is a pirate outfit for pets, but I might be wrong. It might be for like, well, that's not quite it. <laughs> but we could also go for the shark thing instead. <gasps> Stop. Now, I think this is really good. But you can't see its weird eyes? Yeah, but you can't. I made one outfit that doesn't have them. Which one's scarier? Take your bets. <laughs> Fiona, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Follow and Shadow and May and Dory and Ashley and Cold and Kelsey. Thank you for the subs too. I like, I like this a lot. I'm really happy with this. Oh, Queen, thank you so much. That's really kind of you to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, Mittens, welcome to the stream. I'm glad this is your first one. This is quite the first stream to catch. Do you want to see my graveyard? Oh, oh, you're new? Well, do I have a treat for you. <laughs> I have something I think you'll like. <laughs> Are you ready? So here in the front of my yard is my graveyard. Isn't it beautiful? This is my first stream too. What's up here? Oh, you know. Not much to see. <laughs> okay, let me put that away. Um, you should probably go to bed soon, actually, my bestie. But the Grim Reaper's still here as well, by the way. It's kind of rude of him. I feel like I'm being followed. Um. Okay, I think let's go to bed really fast. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Everyone, off we go. And then tomorrow we should really try and have a baby. <laughs> oh, I forgot to give this him a makeover. Oh, that's right. I meant to do that. I do need to give her a granny look. Maybe I'll do that today. Okay. What is this? It's my legacy challenge. Welcome in. Um. <laughs> ah! That's, no. That can't be true. He's not even dead! It lied! It lied! He's not even dead! He's- he's right there! It said that I killed Ratsley, but I didn't. It I said it again, but I didn't! He's right there! He's right there! I don't even think I can feed him! His food's full! I, I just heard- I can hear Dan laughing at me. Because I said he's not even dead. I wonder, because, look, I we hear Dan on my stream a lot more than he hears us on his stream. Us, as if it's just, it's just me talking. It's not us, it's me. <laughs> but we hear him a lot more than he hears me. But when he does hear me, it's, it's like me screaming because, like, my sim's dying. Every time. 
Like, that was the second time today. But my sim didn't even die. It was a lie. Let's keep saying it! Why is it doing that? <sighs> the tables have turned. We can hear you, Kayla. Okay. Well, it, the game is lying about my rat being dead. It's doing it again! This isn't a new glitch. I keep having this glitch. Um, let me reset the object. Maybe that'll fix it. But I've been having this glitch for like two years. Like, since I was doing the 100 baby challenge, I've been having this glitch. So. Um, maybe I'll have someone wake up and give them a treat or something. Feed, treat, play with. I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. No, Ratsley did not pass away. You're a liar. <sighs> okay. You have worked today until five. That's fine. That's acceptable. I understand. But after you get off work, you have to um, get pregnant. <laughs> okay. Why is the title of stream now I, one sim was harmed in the making of this stream? Well, Flynn, you may have missed this, but um, about 30 minutes ago, there was an incident in the pond. So... Anyway, um, I really need to give Poppy a makeover. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, we need to go for like, Granny chic. You can keep the glasses. I'm into the glasses. I might just, um, honestly, she hasn't had an outfit change since she was in high school anyway, so it might be fun to get a new one. If we went for green this time. Oh, my cat wants into Dan's room. She keeps doing, she keeps like making her rounds. Her Dan's room door is closed and mine's not, so she comes in here and then she's like, the door's closed, let me in, and then she goes, Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So. <laughs> Doms and Emma and Kate and Catherine and Lucy and Sunny and, and Sen, thank you all for the subs and bits. Zach, thank you, thank you for the bits. I love you, my friend. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Um, and Megan and, and Desi and, and Gav, thank you all for the subs too. Um, okay. Concept, cat doors installed in your new doors. Okay, Gwen. So we're not putting cat doors in, um in the all of the doors but we are putting a cat door in the laundry room so she can get to her litter box i know <laughs> i know isn't that so cool i know anyway we are putting a cat door in the laundry room so she can get to her litter box but um not i'm not gonna do it in every door i don't really want to cut into all of them <laughs> that seems like a bad idea but the laundry room door she does get a cat door so anyway very fun where are the twins? Oh, no. Who's gonna tell them? The twins are doing just fine. They went to live on a farm together. And that farm, it has lots of sun and lots of piranhas. And that's where they're at. Um... He took my cat and put her inside his room. Anyway, the twins are on a farm. Like I said, they're they're on a farm. Resting. I don't know what I want her to look like. It's not fair. I want her to be dressed cool still, but like I wanna I wanna be like a I hate the shape of this top. I hate the like no, I didn't kill them both, Digital Fairy. So here's what happened. First of all, they did not both die today. One of them died last week in real life. So. Second of all, I didn't kill them. That's like a really strong word. No, no, PB's fine. It's the other two. There was four kids. Now there's two. Anyway, so one of the kids, she was a vampire. First of all, red flag. Anyway, she was a vampire. She was in my house, and then she stood outside too long. She refused to come inside. Now, I didn't put her outside. 
Nor did I put her inside. She chose her own fate. I let her decide what she wanted to do. And when she started burning in the sun, she didn't fix it. Now, that's not my fault, okay? All I did was let her make her own choices. If she made bad choices, that's not on me. That's her problem. So anyway, she's dead. But again, not my fault, not my problem. I kind of like the vibes of this. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, maybe I could have saved her. But look, the same could be said of lots of my sims. Like that sim who died of the rat disease. Yeah, I could have had him take the medicine. Or I could just not. And if he dies, he dies. Whose fault's that? Not mine. So. Anyway. No, I had autonomy on. She had a choice. She made the wrong one. The other one I did kill. The other one, the other one I put in the pond with the piranhas. But I, it was only one time. I didn't know he was going to die that fast. It's not my fault. So. Anyway. <laughs> Audio and Blonde and Hope and Punk, thank you all for the subs. <laughs> And also, the sin that died, let's keep in mind, she was a vampire, so she was, like, already dead. So, like, really, depending on how you look at it, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Abby and Kim, it's Sir Reginald and Lost Duck. Thank you for the subs. Just tracked mud all over your house? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Also, Dan just sent me a screenshot of the weather for Monday and said, that's nearly freezing. He's turning into a real loser Floridian, man. He's, he's complaining about how it's going to be cold on Monday. <sighs> to be fair, it does say on Monday, highs of 18 degrees Celsius and lows of 2 degrees Celsius. Um, in... In dumb American, that's 64 degrees Fahrenheit and 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So, that is different than normal around these parts. I will say that much. But 64 degrees. You know. <laughs> He's more concerned about the low. It being, it being close to freezing, 36, don't really get in the 30s around here. I live in central Florida. I don't care what she wears. She's never going to wear her hot weather outfit again. She probably died before then. Oh my god. So, you know, I'm wearing this sweater right now, this Pelican Town one. It's super cute, right? I bought it on Etsy. Well, the other day... <laughs> Dan has one too because I got it for him for Christmas, but his is blue and he was wearing it and look Dan has played Stardew Valley He's seen me play Stardew Valley. We've played together a lot But Dan's not like as in to Stardew Valley as we are like I'm obsessed with this game Well, he was the one wearing the Stardew Valley shirt, right? And the guy <laughs> We were uh, we were checking out and the guy who was checking us out. He was like Oh my god, Stardew Valley? Like, I love that game. And then he goes, who do you marry? Like, who's your favorite to marry? And Dan was like, uh. <laughs> and he totally, he totally blanked on, like, anybody's name. And then he goes, to be honest, I don't like any of them. And I was like, so then I jump in, I'm like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm personally trying to marry everybody in the whole game. Like, I was trying to help him save it. But I, like, Dan. <laughs> and then I talked to him about Stardew Valley because Dan was over here posing as a Stardew Valley fan. <laughs> but anyway, it was really funny. I really enjoyed it, so... Um, even 
and Smolin and Pocket and Zach and Missy, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, hey, um, hey, Smolin, I'm really, really sorry. I'm sending you a lot of love. I, I know I can't even imagine what you're going through, but um, I hope that we can be a distraction for you today. Uh, and Missy, thank you for the tier two, 29 months, and Abby and Kim and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff too. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Dan's funny. All right, you have work today, but I might have you play with the cats a little bit before you go, just so that I can be happy. Oh, she's sad. Um, what? See, this is the glitch. The glitch. Okay, so you know how um the rat like pretended to die like four times. The glitch. This has been happening to me for like two years in this game with the rats. The game says the rat starved, but the rat is still there and is not dead. The rat's food is full. The rat's not starved. The rat's not dead. It's right there. And then it gives your sim the baby whisked away moodlet. But this, this exact same glitch has been happening to me, like, in every save since I did the 100 baby challenge. Like, three years ago. Like, it's been around forever. Why? We don't even have a baby. We don't even have a baby. I'm gonna cheat that away. The other one is real because her brother died, but the baby one is not. <laughs> I resent that. But anyway, the cheat's super weird. Or the, the glitch is super weird. Have I told the sim gurus? Well, no. <laughs> oh, well, somebody clip it. I'll tell them later. I don't really personally report upon sims glitches <laughs> that often. I think that um, you guys think I have more power than I actually do. <laughs> It might work, though. I don't know. I assume they probably actually know about it already, but maybe they don't. I don't know. Because it's been happening for so long, I sort of assume that they already know. Um. No, I sent the video about the terrain pain glitch because they asked me to, Riv. Um, it wasn't the terrain pain glitch. It was the, um, they asked me to send them a video about the... You know when, back in the day, when you would have landscaping and you try and put it too close to a foundation, it would jump? They asked me to send them a video explaining how that worked. But they, like, I didn't, I didn't present that to them, um, without a request. <laughs> like, they were like, hey, can you, like, make a video for us explaining what you're talking about? And then I did. And it was, like, two minutes long. It wasn't like a, I'm just sending him a list of my demands, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but, anyway... According to AHQ, it was reported in June 2020, and they are currently looking for saves with the glitch. Well, maybe I'll give them this one. Kayla is the only person who plays with my first pet stuff, so they probably don't know. <laughs> okay, well, when you put it that way, you might be right. Um... Oh, stop crying! You're such a baby. Come here, we're gonna program. Come here. Come here. Okay. Speaking of pets, are you planning any future Planet Zoo streams? Well, I've been wanting to play Planet Zoo again, except my recent obsession is City Skylines again. So here's my thing about City Skylines. I love City's Skylines. Okay? You don't understand the obsession I have with this game. I've loved this game since I was, like, in high school. I can't play it, though! I suck! But I've been watching this Let's Play, and... I, I think I've realized that the thing that is so intriguing to me about City Skylines is that I want to just make a pretend city. And I get really frustrated when my, like, little dreams don't work out and the game gets traffic. And, like, my little puny brain's not smart enough to figure out, like, the best way to solve the traffic. <laughs> and then everything sucks, you know? But what I want to do is play in a world where that's not a problem and just, like, spend time decorating. I want to get a bunch of mods and just decorate. Like, here's my little school. Like, I want to I wanna play like that. I don't want to try and make some big, massive city that works great, you know? So maybe I'll try again. <laughs> but the thing about, like, I watch these, these City Skylines videos and then they'll, they'll, like, I don't know. They just know way more than I do about, like, traffic patterns and, like, oh, you know, you should make this sort of interchange to be the best one, and, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know a couple things, but, like, traffic's so hard in that game, I don't know how to solve those problems, that's not my 
like realm of expertise, okay? Like I'm not <laughs> Um yeah, City Skylines is kind of like Sim City, but it's better, way better. Way better. Way better. So, anyway. <laughs> That's a good idea, Alicia. Maybe I'll think about that. Um, sorry. Poppy has earned 37 simoleons for her efforts. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, anyway. <laughs> Darkness, it's written. Um, and Nerdy and Lord of the Rings and Ham and Hannah, thank you all for the subs too. Ooh, wait, my headphones are tangled. I used to play SimCity on my Wii but I was really bad at it because I was like probably nine or something. I wasn't going to be able to do good at that. It just wasn't going to work out well. <laughs> it just, it wasn't for me. I was, I was no expert back then. I will say that much. <laughs> Michelle and Melo, thank you for the subs. But anyway, this one time, um, I haven't streamed City Skylines much, but I've played it a bunch, like, off stream. But one of the times that I streamed it, um, I, I had, like, just bought the Natural Disasters pack. And so, like, a lot of really bad things started happening to me all at once. And, like, my entire city burned down. Literally, my entire city burned down. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. It just went... It was going, and I literally couldn't do anything to make it stop. <laughs> so what do you just, you just watch it happen? Like, anyway, it was kind of fun, although it was really sad. <laughs> Cutter and Night Shark and Miss Clemmy and Michelle, thank you for the subs. Um, he just vacuumed the, wow, and it worked. Okay. I, I'm impressed. <laughs> Vacuum those puddles. <laughs> oh, Ariel, I'm really glad. Have a good night. This will be fun. Um, but anyway, I want to play City Skylines again. Maybe we'll play that next weekend. Not this weekend. I got plans. Next weekend. Okay. My plans for tonight in game are that I have to have a baby. <laughs> Hang on, I need to, um, oh wait, let me actually, let me invite Maeve out. Uh, no Maggie, I only harmed one sim, thank you very much. One sim died, not two, not three, just one. Anyway, baby time, baby time. <laughs> Ghost, and Ariel, thanks again for the bits and subs though. Um, who died? My Sims brother. His dad was a vampire though, so we had it coming. Okay. Hello. Maeve. We are already engaged. Oh, thank you, past Simsy. You are so smart. All right. And now I need to make it so that they can get pregnant. Okay. <laughs> You like her outfit? Yeah, I didn't make Maeve. Um, she was made by one of you. Um, someone made her family and put them on the gallery. There's loads of them. <laughs> but, um... Snappy, you chose to come back? Hello. Oh, yeah, they got engaged over the phone. I forgot about that. It was really weird. <laughs> Sometimes with this new story progression update, um, basically my sim got a call from her girlfriend. And her girlfriend was like, so my sim's name uh, is, is Jam, right? She gets a call from Maeve and she's like, hey, I think Jam's going to propose to me. Should I say yes? And then I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> and then they're engaged. The game was like, okay, engaged. Okay. Okay, sure. Um, well, anyway, I'm gonna get a woohoo bush. Because I can't think of anywhere more romantic to... Oh, grow up! I don't care that your brother died. I'll make it work. I'll talk to her. It's fine. 
It's fine. Don't go jogging. I pressed. I wanted to change your outfit. I'll just do it with mods. MC dresser, change outfit. Yeah, put on something cuter, please. Yeah, I made this park. I made this park like years ago. I think I I may have literally been in high school when I made this park. I need to make a new one. I did that a long time ago though. Ask about taste in music. Gloomy compliment, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, she has a lot of music tastes. Okay, I think... You wanna move in? Come on in. Join us. Okay, now you can flirt with me. And hopefully I can try for a baby. See? I played in this park in 2017. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mellow and Olsen, Freya, and Crypto. Thank you for the subs. Oh, okay. Let's just try and see if it works. Try for baby. Try for baby. Try for... Oh, it worked. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making May feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishing, <laughs> astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Okay. Quite the workout, I see. <laughs> Not her astonishingly sculpted arms. You love fitness, Maeve. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh, save the game. <laughs> she better be pregnant now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, now I don't mean to be dramatic, but just for a second, let's take a minute here, okay? Let's take a minute here, okay? Now, the baby that we are pregnant with. <gasps> oh, her brother had his baby too! Okay, the baby that we are pregnant with is Gen 10. Gen 1, Piper. Gen 2, Peter. Gen 3, Clayton. Gen 4, Clayla. Gen 5, Carson. Gen 6, Jackie. Gen 7, Holly 4.1. Gen 8, Poppy. Gen 9, Jim. Gen 10, oh, he named the baby Oliver. I like that name. Anyway, Gen 10, we're pregnant with right now. I really don't mean to be dramatic, but like. Oh, I'll go on a date. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna save the game again, too. Let's make it to Gen 50. Well, I wanna try- I'm gonna play Not So Berry next. Um, I'm gonna play Not So- wait, next month marks five years since Not So Berry came out. No, you're kidding. February 24th, 2017. Well, we're gonna play Not So Berry next month, because we're gonna play it after we finish this legacy, but I'm gonna do it in this save, like, with these sims. So the Gen 10 sim that she's pregnant with right now is gonna be, like, the Gen 1 Not So Berry sim. Um, so that's really appropriate, the five-year thing. <laughs> um, that's actually really funny. Well... Console about death. Try to cheer up, maybe? I don't know. My cat's over here. Wait, can you see her? Come here, scoot a little bit forward. Just like a little bit. Come here. Come on, Snappy, just go a little bit forward. She's right there. Snap. Oh, fine. <laughs> um, Not So Berry is a legacy challenge that my friend Zoe and I wrote five years ago. Um, these are the rules. I can link it for you. If you just Google it, you can find it really easily, too, but... 
Um, these are the, the rules. Um, but it's this challenge that we wrote a long time ago. So. No, we're going to stay in this save. I decided um, we're going to stay in this save. But um, we're going to, like redo a lot like I'm in a place of a lot of new lots and stuff down we'll probably do like a whole stream of placing new lots and things um the day it came out I was at the magic kingdom for my birthday trip oh really that's kind of fun um I hope you had a good time <laughs> no I'm not gonna modify not so berry I am um, at least not for this playthrough people ask about that a lot with the not so berry challenge like hey are you gonna make new rules are you gonna like update it to add the new packs and stuff because obviously it's really old now it only has the old packs but um I think at least in my mind not so berry right now is good and very long like I don't really want to change it to make it longer certainly not like so if I were to do another one it would be like a here's a 2.0, like, here's a, a fully new, new one, you know, um, and not, like, uh, an additional generation or something, um, cause, cause, like, it's already 10 generations, <laughs> you know, um, but, anyway, even less Barry, <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people have made, like, a lot of other people have made, like, extended versions. People have played it, like, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do it, like, backwards. Um, people have made, like, base game variants. I made a Sims 3 version. Like, there, there's a lot of, like, community contribution to the challenge, too. Um, which is, like, fun, I think. So, anyway, I kind of like it when, when things sort of take on their own life like that, and then people use them the way they want to. Um... I just, I like it a lot, so. <laughs> um, but, anyway. The Sims community is kind of fun like that. No, I did not think that people would still be playing it now, for sure, Raven. I, like, when we made it, keep in mind, I was literally 17. <laughs> like, I was in high school, I made it, like, with my friend, just for fun. Like, we did it because we, like, wanted to play with Barry Sims. Like, it was, it was not a, a thing that I thought anyone else would like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do a let's play on it. Like, I just, I played it on my own, and I streamed it a little bit on Twitch, but I've, I've never even played through it, like, on YouTube, and I made it. <laughs> um, but, anyway, it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, Barry Sims were really trendy at the time. Um, think, like, pastel, like, colorful Sims. Like, um, I don't know, like, lots of, like, pink and, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't even realize, like, that part, like, the trendy part of that that was happening at the time either, I don't think, because they're not as trendy anymore. Um, but, anyway, <laughs> it was, there was a huge Barry Sim community at the time. Um, it was cute. Yeah, and some of the careers are kind of glitchy, so people switch them out. There's a lot of people, like, you know... I, I am very firmly of the opinion that you should really just play how you want. <laughs> I am, I, I'm very guilty of this with my own gameplay. Like, look, if you think that a rule is dumb, just change it. Like, if you don't like, so for example, Gen 1 has an element collection aspect, and it's really hard. Like, that part really sucks. Um, but, um, the, like, if you don't like that, just don't do it. <laughs> you know, like, if it's not fun, you're playing The Sims because it's fun. Like, it, don't, don't force yourself to do things that aren't fun for you. Like, there's a level of, like, a grind to it that's kind of fun, but if it gets to a point where it's not fun anymore, don't make yourself do it. Why suffer? Unless you're Miv. Yeah, that's right. I said Miv had to. Miv didn't get a pass to stop, but everyone else can. But, anyway... Miv has no choice. The rest of you, do whatever you want. Miv, though? No. Stuck. Oh, <gasps> my cat's being so cute right now! Stop. Wait. That's my water bottle. I- Vague. Anyway. 
I moved my head, and now I have to move the camera back. Hi, Snap. I can't get my um, cat cam over there because it doesn't reach that far. The cord's not long enough. <laughs> I can put it over here on this side, but not on that side. Um, oh yeah, I have a Grim Reaper plushie. That was um, that was sent to me by. It's it's hard to see it. It's right there, but that was sent to me by a viewer. Um, they made it. <laughs> Done it to my PO box. I have a lot of cool things behind me that were sent to my P.O. box like that. Same thing like the Pietro plushie over there was made by a viewer and sent to my P.O. box. Um, okay, do you have a career? No, you don't. What are you like? You're really good at dancing. Um, you're a genius, self-absorbed. You like dancing, fishing, fitness, and mixology. You like a lot of music. And green, okay. Okay, maybe we could do like a fitness-based career. That might be nice. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put her in like the, the athlete career. I don't know. No, I still haven't bought a pink couch for my new office. I haven't bought any couches for the new house. And I need to buy two. <laughs> I need to buy one for my office, and I need to buy one for the living room. Um, it's just, the one for the living room is expensive, because it needs to be big, which is a good thing. But like, I don't know, and I'm scared. You know? <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. I'm doing fitness. It's happening. Okay, maybe I'll buy her like some gym equipment for now. Oh, I'll put it in the basement. That'll be good. Turn on all the lights. No, yeah, I mean, I can definitely keep the one in this office. Like, I don't need to buy anything urgently. Um, but I wanna get, so my new background, I made a video on like what I want the new office to look like, kind of because I was trying to talk it out. So that's what people were talking about. But in my new office, I wanna do like a different vibe in the background. Um, I want to put like a couch behind me. Like I want the, the majority of the background to be like a kind of cool like statement couch. And I want it to be pink. That's my current thought process. That plan might change. That's what they're talking about is how I, I said I wanted to get a pink couch. But I want to do like a pink couch and then like a floating shelf above it, like a long one with like some lights and stuff still. But um, that's, that's the idea is to change the vibes a little bit. I think it might be fun, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Um, hey, Snorty, I love you. Thank you so much for the bits. You were really kind. Um, and June, thank you for the 12 months. And Soap and Rochelle and, and Ams and Anna, thank you for the subs too. Okay. I'm gonna put a gym stuff down here. Uh, gym stuff, I said. That doesn't make much sense now, does it? Not so very. <laughs> Get it? Okay. I think... Um, don't get anything like ridiculously expensive, but buy a couple things is my plan. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, cool. We'll have those for later. And Luna and Tori, thank you for the subs too. Okay. I don't even know if you'll sleep in there. I really need a new house. <laughs> I didn't think this through. I might have to have them switch rooms. We'll see. No, you have to scoot. You have to scoot. You have to scoot. Scoot. Get up. That'll be your left side of the bed. The right side of the bed will be jams. Okay, now get back in the bed and scoot. Oh, I did it wrong. I thought I did it right. Maeve. Jam. Get up! Sleep! Oh, thank you. Okay, finally. We got there in the end. <laughs> 
It did work. It did work. <laughs> Bradley and Claire and Chanel and Tori, thank you for the subs too. Uh, give them bunk beds. We could do that. We could do that. <laughs> that is a cat, yeah. I have two of them. Oh, this one can't use the litter box because it's upstairs. Oh, it's aging up. Never mind, it's fine. I was gonna say because it's a kitten, it can't get upstairs, but it aged up. I'm gonna go see what it looks like when it's older. I'm actually really excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm gonna give Blobby a green collar. I think that's the most appropriate thing we could do. This is the best day of my life. It looks a lot like spatula. <laughs> Fangirl, thank you for the five months! Um, and Bradley and Fufu, thank you for the subs and stuff too. Um, can we call him Blobbert as a nickname? We could! I'm, I'd be down. I like it. <laughs> I'm into it. Okay. I feel very prepared now. I think this day is going well. And then- No! Get up! Get up! Oh, you're fully rested? Go to sleep. Besties. I don't know much this I can handle. I might need to make a new house even sooner than this. I say we just have them switch beds. Let's just have this sim use this bed and they can share this bed because there's two of them. I don't even care. You can take your mom's bed. That's fine. Well, it's fine. We're gonna get a new house tomorrow in real life, so... Okay. No! Sleep! Please! I'm, like, actually begging you. Why won't you- Oh my god. Build one right now? No, I don't want to! I'm scared! I don't know what I want it to look like. We probably won't finish it if we do that. I mean, we could. We're gonna need a new house, but... Uh-oh. Rose died? Oh! Rose was their aunt. She lived across the street. I wonder if... I wonder if the grave is there. I'm actually gonna go do that and see if it's there. New house with the big front porch? We can do that. I mean, we could build- we could build the new house now. We're gonna build it on stream, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it- I was gonna do it tomorrow, but we could- I mean... We could start it sooner if you want. What kind of vibe do you think? I think it should be like the most- YES! She's here! Oh, perfect. Okay, good. Rose was, um, the- the previous heir, the elder in my household, that was her twin sister. Um, and she just died, which kind of sucks, but... Anyway, I'm thinking it would be kind of funny if we did, like, the most blue suburban looking blue suburban for Gen 10 possible. Like, if we're gonna get through 10 generations, let's go back to our roots. You know? <laughs> I feel like that would be kind of funny. I mean, and plus it would be easy, but... If it, it feels appropriate, you know? Alright, Rose. Add it to the pile. Okay. Two sims were harmed in the making of this stream. I changed the title. <laughs> Look, I didn't actually kill her. She died of old age, but it's funny, so I'm gonna include it. <laughs> the other one I did kill. Well, maybe I'll start the house then. Do you wanna build a new one? I'll build a new one. We should save a lot of our stuff. 
a lot of these things we're really gonna want to make sure we keep because they're expensive. Um, things like the computer, you know, my simmies have to stay. We can't lose those. This is for the best. We really need a new place sooner rather than later, so. I'll do it. I'll be brave. I need the bag of money. I want the hot tub. I'm not gonna bulldoze the lot, so we can leave the pond back there. Um, I'm not even gonna delete anything. Like, I'm just gonna, um... I'm just gonna, like, delete the, the building. So, like, the landscaping and stuff can stay, too, for now. Um... So don't worry, I won't forget the graves. Right now it's more of just like a, what, what do we absolutely need to save so that we save money, you know? Like I might, I might save the appliances cause, or the bathroom stuff I mean, cause they're kind of expensive. So it might save us some money if we had them already. Um, I got most of the photos. I don't think I have, oh my light, duh, we need that. We don't really have, like, a lot of photos in the house. Oh, the embroidery. That's important. Oh, these. Okay, we do have these. Pictures of the pets. Things like the pet bowl and the cat tower, we can buy those again really easily. Because they're not expensive. It's mostly, like, the expensive stuff that we want to save. Um, and, like, the sentimental value stuff, but I think this is- I don't even need that. I think this will be okay. I think I might rebuild the house right now. Yeah, forget it. Let's do it. We probably won't finish it until tomorrow, but that's fine. Let's do it. It'll be fun. I'm actually gonna miss this house. I liked it. But it's okay. Time for a change. Oh yeah, it's on the gallery. Uh, this house, I believe the game said it had custom content, but it didn't. Um, so it is on the gallery, don't worry. How much money do we have for this last generation house? Fifty-four? Gen 10? Besties, we gotta scrounge up some cash. What can I sell? None of those things. <laughs> Let me sell these things. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay, okay, this is fine. We saved a lot of the expensive stuff. Like, these showers were a thousand each. Yeah, um, this family's not really a, a generational wealth kind of family. <laughs> um, this one? Not so much. Not so much. We have all the expensive things, though. Like, things like the hot tub and the kitchen stuff, so that- We should be okay. Um... It's not shadowy, so we should be able to build the house pretty easily. Okay. They collect graves, not wealth. I killed- this is the thing- no, they're not even kidding. I killed the Sims too early. And look, our computer's really expensive, it's like 10k. Um, but I- I literally- I'm not even kidding. I killed- I killed the heirs too early. Before they could get money. Like, before they did good in their careers. So we've not been, like, building cash. Like, we've- Anyway. Um, so- <laughs> Kona, and Euphoric, and Zach, and Bradley, and CG, and Weird Girl Beth, and Jen, and Hitch, and Cozy, and everybody. Thank you for the subs. Um, no, Jam's not dead. Uh, Jam is here. Jam has a, uh, fiancé and, a uh, mom. And those are all of our sims. Jam's there. And Jam's pregnant. 
So, um, am I gonna put the lifespan back to normal once you start NSV? I think we might have to. I don't know if you can do not so berry on short lifespan. I say as the person who made not so berry, I think it might be too much. Um, but we can try. <laughs> if you just do nothing else, um, you know? Okay, I need to find, I wanna find a, uh, a reference photo. When you go Google suburban family home, it's like Sims house after Sims house, by the way. Like when you Google it, that's all you see is Sims houses. <laughs> I feel at home with this. You people understand me. Um, make it a tiny town home. I still want it to be a decent sized house. And like we said, we wanted to go for like blue suburban of all blue suburbans because if it's gonna be the last generation's house, I feel like it should be a classic, you know? Um, it can be kind of small. Like, this house isn't that big. Um, something like this is always cute. It's good vibes. Um, I don't know how many kids we're gonna have. At least a couple. No, it's not gonna be mint for Not So Berry. So you're forgetting that um, the Not So Berry sim isn't born. The sim we're playing on is Gen 9. Gen 10 is going to be the Not So Berry stuff. So, like, when the Gen 10 sim grows up, that's when we'll start Not So Berry. Um, but this kind of thing might be nice. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to look at photos. I'm just going to wing it. Um... Okay, I think this will be a good size, actually, because we really can't have this house be big. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, we really can't have this house be much bigger than this. Um, I want it to be kind of a small entrance. I think it'll be cute. No. This might be too small, my dears. This is my specialty? Oh yeah, if I know how to do one thing well, it's it's this kind of house. Oh, I know. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's this. That much I absolutely agree with you on. Okay. I think we're gonna do these a bit differently. Um, one story blue suburban. No, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, I swear. Don't worry. It's gonna be so suburban-y though, you're gonna love it. Don't even worry. No, I didn't kill the girlfriend, no! No! My sim, um, the, the elder in my household, her twin sister died of old age. I didn't kill anybody. I did change the stream title to say, to say I had two sims harmed in this stream, but it wasn't, like, my fault. It was an old age thing, okay? I promise. I didn't do anything. I did nothing. I haven't killed anyone yet. Good point. The second one was my elder sim's twin sister. You probably don't remember her. Don't worry. She hasn't been around in a while, but she died of old age, and it was really sad. So, <laughs> that's the other one. This is kind of ugly. Should I make it wider? Or skinnier? I don't think I like it. I have to do a different vibe. I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. It's ugly. We need a different vibe. Hang on. <laughs> 
I don't know what I want it to be like. Maybe I should just wing it. Make a tree house. That would certainly be a different vibe. <laughs> you know, a tree house really would be different. <laughs> I want to build this with the graves ideally being in like the same place. So if I could make that work, I would be so excited. So let's do that. Let's try and keep the graves in the same place, shall we? I think it'll work perfectly. Um, okay, I think... Big porch. Maybe it'll be, wait, maybe it'll be a smaller porch. And we'll do it like that. And then we could get like, side. Classic. Classic looking house. Who died? Don't worry, just my elder Sim. Not my, like not my elder Sim, not this one. You know the Sim that was here? It was her sister. She didn't live in the house. But I did go get her grave, so we do have it still. Don't worry. But it was just my elder Sim. <laughs> I thought it would be funny if I put her in the title too. She deserves attention. No, Isabella, we're not going to do a modern home that's unique for Gen 10. In fact, we're doing the exact opposite. I want this house to look the same as every other house this family has ever had. My idea for Gen 10 is, is not to branch out. Instead, it is to do the exact same thing that we always do. In honor of the, the original Sims who started this, I thought it would be funny if we built a house that was very similar to theirs. And then when we do Not So Berry, we can do like a very different vibe. But with this one, I think it's funny if it's the same. There's no branching out here. AKA Dull. Yeah, well, you can dislike it all you want. I don't really care. Um, I still think it's funny. <laughs> so. Um, okay. I think. Cute. Love it. So adorable. Very exciting. I'm going to probably discover that this house is too small, but that's okay. It might even be fun that way. Um, you want a garage? Oh, we could maybe get a garage. I'm going to have to move my graves if I want a garage, but... We could probably put one over here. That might be funny. And we're gonna have like, yeah, like the, my new fiance is um, in the fitness career. So it might be a good spot to have the gym. Okay, besties, the grave situation is dire. They're very much in the way. This is not looking good. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to move the, the graves, probably. The grave situation is grave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Underground mausoleum. No, see, I like the graves being in the front yard. You're not gonna like this. If you're new to the Let's Play, I'm really sorry, because you're not gonna like this, but the graves, they they belong in the front yard. They they won't be changing from the front yard, unfortunately. Um, they've been in the front yard for about 10 generations, and now is not the time that I'll be switching that up. They stay there. Front and center for everyone to see.
it's very exciting. Um, you know what? We may even be able to get, like, some terrain paint or terrain manipulation to do the... I'm sorry. We're going to have to reorganize all of these. It's really terrible. But, um... Oh, yeah, the graves are definitely staying for not so very. That part's, that's not changing anytime soon. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Come on, get up. Flatten to height. Why is it doing this? Hang on. This sucks. Be faster. But like, if we did it like this, then we could sort of slope it down. At some point, instead of having a fence, you could just line up the graves and it'll have the same effect. You know, Maggie, I think you might be onto something with this. That is a genius idea. Oops. Oops, way too big. Oh my. Well, it doesn't look that bad. I'm not very good at this. I won't lie. This isn't really my area of expertise. Um, I think we all know this. <laughs> But, <laughs> um, Dixie and Spongebob and Little Dicky, thank you for the subs. Can you share a trick with me for doing the garage things? You use roofs? Oh, yeah, for putting, like, roofs on the floor. I've seen stuff like that before. Um, people will, like, do things like this to have, like, a fake slope. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm good enough to make that look right. Um, and Sasman and Heather and Jazz and Jem and Anga, thank you for the subs. Um, well, we could also, like... The house could also just not be on a foundation. <gasps> we could do it with platforms. Oh, ew, 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 ew. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll do this one. Look, we'll have a short platform over here. We'll do it with platforms. That's so much easier. This saves me so much pain because I can't. Look, I'm not in any position to be trying to do anything fancy right now. Okay, I think we all know this. I don't like these. <laughs> I don't know about these. We'll see. We'll need to think about this. Um, we need to think about this. Oops. But it'll be so cute. Mark my words. <laughs> Maddie and Leah, um, thank you all for the subs. I missed your 12 month sub, Leah. When? How long ago? I don't even see it in my list. Well, thank you for the 12 months. I really apologize. I don't even see it in my list of resubs. It may, was it like a really long time ago earlier today? And I totally just didn't see. Cause if so, I truly apologize. So not on purpose. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm a bit distracted at the moment. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for the sub. I'm sorry, I really appreciate that. Um, Oops. We'll do something fancy above the garage. Quite a while. Well, I may have missed it then. I apologize. Thank you for the resub. I probably missed a lot of things today. I'm a bit um, distracted by my stupid build. Okay, I think... But again, thank you. <laughs> uh, and Huckleberry and Kate and Marine and Tate, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay. I think... I want to put, like... Let me do some landscaping right now. I might start off with some landscaping in the front just so I can get, like, 
a concept, you need to move out of the way. But if we begin with some landscaping, we can probably try to fill everything in a little bit better. How many graves are behind that? Please! This is just ridiculous. <laughs> Joe and Dr. J get twisted. Thank you for the subs. I... Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. And then I was thinking we could get like... Some really simple plants. And then all of the graves would be lined up like in front of this amount of landscaping. They'd be like all the way up here, okay? Again, we have to place them all better. But the graves, they would not be in the bushes. They'd have their own space out of the bushes. Out of the bushes. Oh, we only started building really recently. Um, like in the last like 20 minutes or so. So don't worry, you didn't miss much if you just came in. Um, I started the build. It's a new build. Okay. And then over here, there would be like driveway. You know? Maybe a small little bush that way. Is there still a grave in the bush? There might be. I'll have to get it. Don't worry. I'll get it. No, there's not. You're lying. I see no graves in the bush. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I, there's not one. I checked. I checked. You might be seeing, like, the flowers. Um, Carrie, you're unhelpful. Thank you for the subs, too. Okay. But we'll do something like that, and then we'll have- I'll put, like, an actual or actual car in the garage. Or in the driveway, I mean. Um. It'll be nice. We'll get, like, terrain paint. And I'll probably do a terrain paint driveway, too. But it'll come down this way, you know? Perhaps. Yeah, besties, I think we will definitely <laughs> have to finish this uh, tomorrow. I, I don't see us finishing this build in one stream. Now that I'm working on it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a, a process. Okay, that'll be nice. Let me go into debug and get my car now. And can I get like my fence again? Because I loved my little fence. It was so cute. Packs. Thought it was a 10 minute build challenge. What, this? Yeah. I know. It doesn't look that good yet. Can I swear at the sad stream? Danya, what kind of impression are you giving to my Sims kids? No! <laughs> I am gonna stream Minecraft, um, in, like, an hour and 15 minutes with Dan. Um, we're gonna do a Minecraft stream later. That's the plan, at least. I wanna scoot this all over one tile. Um. Okay. This will be cute. Look, don't you love it? We'll put like a tree there or something. It's gonna be so nice. I'm not even kidding. The Duck Dan. No, Dan TDM actually is who we're gonna play with. <laughs> no, we're gonna play Minecraft um, in a little bit. I wanna play with the update. I think it'll be fun, I don't know. I don't have any specific plans. I just wanna play Minecraft because I wanna play Minecraft. So, by the way, the person who said Dan TDM, I think they were um, probably making a reference to the time that I said I was gonna do something with Dan, and then they literally thought I meant Dan TDM. Like, they didn't, they, and then people also sometimes will ask, like, oh, is the Dan, like, your Dan, Dan TDM? Because for some reason, there can only be one Dan on the internet, but it's actually quite funny, so that's oftentimes what people are referencing. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, um, if you ever hear that. Okay, I think. That'll work for now. Maybe I will just have that go straight up to there. It can be a little bit smaller. Okay, I have to mess with the... Maybe I'll redo all the terrain paint, actually. Where should all my graves go? Can I pile them up over here? We could probably get, like, two sections of graves now. Now that I think about it. Because we could have them all, like, over here and over here. I think we've reached the point where we have enough graves that they could all fit in one space. Or in the whole front yard. At least. Oh. This could actually be perfect. Okay, and then we can fill in this whole area. We're gonna have like two halves of the graveyard. This is perfect. Once we finish this, we're gonna have to like do a breakdown video or something where we talk about like who the heck all these people were. Can I get another one of the pet ones? Should fit there. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> this is always my dream like the whole time this whole time not even kidding this entire time I've literally always dreamed about being able to fill up the entire front yard with the graves like that was always what my aim was and I feel like this is exactly what I was picturing this this is just what I wanted like the whole place Full. And with room to expand. I'm so happy! <laughs> this is perfect! Um, Tempest and Leah and, and Pod, Snarty and Freckles and Carrier and Neville, thank you for the subs too. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It looks like nice white bushes from above. <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell. Like, you, it doesn't really look like um, it's a pile of graves. I feel like it kind of, it looks decorative. And then you look a little bit more closely and you're like, oh. Those aren't what I was expecting them to be. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I just heard Dan yell. I don't know what happened, but I think he was saying incoming. I believe something may have happened in his dumb game. Okay. I think... I think, I think... If my terrain paint gets deleted, I'll actually cry. I'm not even kidding. Because I love how this is looking. Okay, Anonymous, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. Uh, thank you so much. Please save. You know, good idea. <laughs> good plan. I, I appreciate the suggestion. And then we'll get like some big trees. TBD isn't dumb. I'm just kidding. I don't actually think Dead by Daylight is dumb. I do think it's scary, but I don't think it's dumb. I'm just making fun of him. Which I am allowed to do. As much as I want. That's how it works. Um. Okay. I'll put that in the back somewhere. I haven't done the back of the house at all. The back of the house, the shape isn't determined. Like, don't worry. The back of the house is not gonna um, stay the way it is. If you don't like it. First of all, keep that to yourself. But second of all, um, don't worry. It's not, like, done. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm kind of thinking we'll do, like, some pink flowers. 
um, we'll get like a mixture of different kinds, but these could be fun. We could throw in like a few other kinds. I don't know. We'll do like a bunch of pink ones though. I'm not really, oh, those look super weird in this season. Okay, kind of love that. <laughs> Why do they look like that right now? Huh, fascinating. And then we'll get some more over there, some more over there. I feel like they're not supposed to look like that. I think that that is probably a glitch. <laughs> For some reason, I'm, I'm feeling like that's not intentional. <laughs> um, okay, we'll get lots of pretty flowers, though. It's gonna be so nice. Everyone's gonna love it. Okay. I should put a big sliding door on the garage instead of columns, do you think, Mona? Um... So there's a couple door options that uh, get used as garage doors a lot. I, so do you mean like something like this? Cause I, I don't really want it to be glass. Um, something like this kind of is like barn-like to me. It's not really the vibe that I'm going for with this, although it would be super cool. I mean, we could try and figure out how to do it with like a, if it's white, maybe it won't look weird, but I don't think it comes in white. <laughs> um, so, like, there's that. Um, there's, like, a snowy escape medium wall height one. Um, but again, that's medium wall height, so it's really tall. Um, I don't know how bad that clips if you put it there. I mean, we could try something like that. I've never used that door as a garage door on short wall height before. Um, but we could try that. We can see if we like it. Um, it kind of, it kind of works. Um, obviously I hadn't really finished the garage before, but I know I wish the garage was like a little bit bigger. Maybe if we got like black accents on these, like that, maybe, maybe. Once we put a debug car in here, it'll help too. I'm gonna keep adding on to the landscaping. I'm gonna spend so much time on the front of this house. It's gonna be so, so weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna have like anything else done, but I'll have the front of the house done. Um, that's a good thing though. It's nice to have like the, the vision for the front finished. It's not bad. Yeah, that's from Snowy Escape though. It's kind of nice. Um, I've used it as a garage door before on medium wall height, but cause it is a medium wall height door, but it looks kind of nice on the short. Maybe we can make it work. It's pretty realistic too, which is nice, especially considering the fact that we don't have <laughs> garage doors. Um, okay. I think Gable with the 33 months. Thank you so much. Um, Faith, I love you. I'm really glad I can be a distraction. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, and Ali, thank you for the five gifted subs too. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, there are garage doors in City Living. The thing with the garage doors from City Living, though, is that they're, like, a lot smaller and they're metal. Um, which is why I kind of like to use other things because they're bigger and they look more like a, a real garage door. The, the garage doors from City Living look kind of like warehouse type garage doors and not like a, a, how, a garage door you might find on, like, a house. Um, not that they're bad, but they're not really the vibe... I don't think for this. Does that make sense? Um, okay, I want to get like a cute little car. Maybe one that's like a cute little color. Like green. I might even make the... Sorry about Dan. <laughs> we could get like that color. That's so cute. I actually really like that. Maybe I'll get myself a couple little planters too. 
I don't think I have any plants anymore. Let me look. Did I sell them all? I did. I have all my dead cow plants, though. That's okay. Maybe I'll put some sunflowers in them. Maybe some sunflowers in this one. And like a little thing like this in that one. I don't know. That might be cute. We need a few more flowers, I think. Does this come in like a light pink? Ew! Okay, this is better. Yeesh. It's kind of hard to tell what it's gonna look like as well because obviously we're doing this um, when the build is not done and also when the build is in a weird season so all the plants look dead. Um, so we'll <laughs> obviously we'll adjust once it's no longer dead flowers, you know? Okay, maybe I'll stick this over here. That might be nice. We'll see. Safe game. Okay. Um, Jennifer and Annabelle and Rain and Nico, thank you for the subs again, too. Um, can I put a gnome near the mailbox? You know, I might actually get a wall mailbox. Maybe I'll just put a gnome down here in general. That might be nice. Oh, Snappy wants intense room again. She's so weird. She's literally going back and forth between our rooms. She's been in my room this whole time, and now she's back at Dan's trying to get in. <laughs> she's literally going back and forth. She's making complete rounds. Oh, the Grim Reaper gnome's better. No, you're right. That makes way more sense. Good call. Good call. Okay. Put a little bit of terrain paint underneath this. Make it small, make it light. And just paint it quickly underneath that and around this. You can hear her? Yeah, she wants in Dan's room. It's terrible. She's trying to abandon me. Okay. Okay. We have to figure out the entire back still. I haven't even touched it. <laughs> Oops, hang on. I'm gonna let her in Dan's room. Poor kitty is being totally left out. So sorry, so sorry. Thought they were nice white flowers. Silly me, they are grapes. Oh, really, Miv? Oh, that's actually really good news that you thought they were flowers. No, I'm serious, that makes me feel really good. Do you actually think they look like flowers? Are you serious? Don't joke around with me. Tell me the truth. You really thought that? Oh, perfect. Just perfect. You thought so too? Oh, fantastic news, everybody. So glad to hear that. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a porch and it's gonna be a nice one. Should I have it go all the way around this? No, I don't think I want to. I think I might have like a different backyard sort of vibe over here. I'm probably gonna put this on the other side. Why do I sound sarcastic? I don't know. Maybe that's just like the tone of my voice. <laughs> I'm not trying to be sarcastic this time. <laughs> I do that a lot though, so. <laughs> I was being serious actually. <laughs> but I know that is just kind of like <sighs> what I sound like. <laughs> It's also because I'm distracted. You know when you're like trying to do something else and like also talk to someone? So I'm like, I don't know, kind of monotone because I'm like thinking about something else at the same time. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm like also trying to do the build so I'm just not paying attention really. Okay. Okay. You got new headphones? Oh, nice, Miv. Um, I have had these headphones. Well, actually, no. 
I should clarify. I've not had these headphones. In fact, this is my uh, not first pair of these headphones. Um, most recently, I have broken two pairs in the last like few years. It's not like it's happened, you know, this month or anything, but in the past couple of years, I've broken two pairs of these headphones. Do you know how? I'll tell you how. Once I dropped them in my glass of orange juice, I took them out and then pfft, into the orange juice. The other one, this is worse. <laughs> so I, I've been cutting my own hair, right? Since COVID. And because I do that, um, oftentimes I'll find like random pieces that are too long. And I'll be like, oh no, this random piece, let me just snip that real fast. Well, I was sitting at my desk. I was looking in my OBS. So I'm sitting here like staring at myself in the camera, you know, and I was like, oh, oh no, there's a piece. I go to cut it. These are my scissors. I go to cut it. I also cut the headphone. My scissors right over the headphone. I cut my hair and the headphone at the same time. So, <laughs> snipped it right off. Well, I didn't snip right off, but it did like break it. Like it didn't like fall, but it was like half snipped, you know? It didn't work anymore after that though. <laughs> so, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Rookie move. Yeah, well, it's embarrassing. I know. How did I even manage that? No, I'm, I'm fully with you on that. It is embarrassing. I'm, I don't defend myself here. I have, I have nothing I could say to, to defend myself with this one. It's a trash plant. That's good money right there. Pay me. Okay. No, it wasn't on stream. Oh my gosh, no. I didn't do it on stream. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't happen on stream. That would have been even worse. Uh, but it was before I went live. If you wanted AirPods, you could have just said so. You know, Kayla, you can just get AirPods. You don't have to cut them yourself. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what I did. No, someone died from old age. Don't worry. It was my sim, the, the previous heir, the Gen 8 heir, who um, was an elder. It wasn't her, but it was her twin sister that died of old age. Um, so that, that was the second sim who was harmed today. But in my defense, I didn't kill her. Why does it say two? Who else? Okay, so how do I say this? Do you remember how we had two sets of twins in this family, right? There was like the first two and then there was the ones with the vampire. Well, let's just say there's only one set of twins left. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't delete any of them. No, so Hope, here's what happened. The first one was a vampire. Died in the sun. It was really tragic, but it was her fault. She wouldn't come inside. You know? The second one, that's what happened today. The last one happened last week. The second one happened today. Um, and again, I just want to point out that um, he was a vampire's son. So he had it coming. But I did put him in the pond. First, I dressed him as a pirate because I thought it would be funny. Um, I don't know. It, you know when you go into cast and things just like devolve? And then we were like, teehee, he's a pirate. What if we put him in the pond? And then he died first try, which is not my fault. How could I have known that was going to happen? Who could have known that first try he would die in the pond? Certainly not me. I have no experience with that pond. I don't know. No, he wasn't uncomfortable, but he was really sad um, because his sister died yesterday. So, you know, his bad mood may, may have contributed to his untimely death. I will say that much. It does. It sounds like a him problem. Exactly. And now he's gone. So I don't have a vampire sim anymore. Yay. <laughs> he wasn't even a vampire. He was just related to one. His sister was though. 
Um, but I, I think that uh, he's glad, because now he's reunited with his twin, you know? I'll put this big tree over here. I like that. This sounds premeditated. It wasn't, though. Mostly. You say on the first try, like, if it hadn't worked, there would have been a second try? Oh, there probably would have been a second try, but maybe not a third. I didn't actually think he was gonna die. I really- I should clarify that. I didn't- I didn't think he was gonna die that fast. I know it might not- I know you might not believe me, and that's okay, because I- I know, I can't be trusted, but, like, I really didn't think he was gonna die that fast. I didn't know he was gonna die. I wasn't, like, trying to kill him. I was okay if he died, but, like, it wasn't my intention from the beginning. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm not helping my case here. <laughs> I should stop talking. <laughs> I really- I should just drop it. <laughs> what in the YouTube apology? <laughs> I got like fake tears. I'm like, I swear I didn't intend for him to die the first time. <laughs> 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 I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> I know I killed another sim yesterday, but I won't do it again. <laughs> this is too much. It's too much. <sighs> okay. I think... If anyone deserved an apology, it was Gerald. All right, that one, yeah, I know. That one, fully my fault. I fully take the blame for that. But it was... It was content, though, you know? I thought that was an accident. Um... So, how do you, how, how do you define an accident? Cause like, it was kind of an accident, but it was a preventable accident. I was sad. I don't trust my friend, she scares me. <laughs> Anyway, Gerald was, um, one of my sims in my legacy challenge on YouTube. Emphasis on was. <laughs> no, I wasn't- look, look, I don't actually- I don't think I do anything for content. It's- it's mostly like a- Something just comes over me and it's like, hmm. What if I had my sim jump in this pond right now? Just to see what would happen, you know? Like, wouldn't it just be interesting to see what would happen if you did it? You know? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, um, <laughs> put, put some windows everywhere, everyone. That's my plan next. This garage is actually pretty nice. You had Dylan accidentally get pregnant in the first episode of Dylan Diaries, you liar. <laughs> okay, I didn't even have Risky Woohoo installed in 2016. It's not my fault if you believed that. <laughs> you should have known. <laughs> this is a throwback. <laughs> you know, this is a, a niche reference. <laughs> I'm going to go watch the video and cut together the lies. I really- I'd be curious to watch that back too. I don't remember what I said. Um, I bet it was funny though. 
Okay. You lied is what you said? Well, maybe I did. It's fine. Lying about story is fine. I was lying to set up a story. So? As if you haven't ever had pretended that your sim got pregnant by accident. I know you have. We all have. The house is looking so cute, you almost can't notice the graves. <laughs> yeah, you almost don't realize what the front yard looks like. <laughs> Crystal Princess stars and tis, thank you for the subs. They really do blend in beautifully. I'm so happy with them. Oh, you just watched my entire 100 baby challenge? Oh, those were the good old days. I love the 100 baby challenge. I seriously had so much fun in that Let's Play. That was like the best time. I think the 100 baby challenge is some of the best times of my life. I'm not even kidding. Okay. Your title is, Is She Pregnant? Hmm. Maybe that person who said you clickbait was right. No, 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 no. Okay, that's another, that's another uh, deep niche reference from Hope here. Basically, here's the tea about this person, okay? I probably shouldn't poke the beast, but I'll tell you anyway. So there was this person and they were like, coming into my stream like every day for weeks being like, you clickbait, you clickbait, like 10 times a day. And it got to the point where we were like, okay, stop like you're being kind of weird so we banned them and then they started like whispering a bunch of random people from chat being like lil simsy does clickbait lil simsy does clickbait and they kept like dming random people and then it turned into like i hope lil simsy dies so i don't really know they really it started out with just messaging the mods then it was random viewers then it was like i hate lil simsy and i hope she dies they really like zero to 100 really fast but it was pretty funny <laughs> and I don't even clickbait that much. I think I do a reasonable amount. It's like not like I'm I feel like when you complain about clickbait, it's like complaining about like lying in a title and stuff, you know? Everybody has like a little ounce of it, there's like a line between like lying and having a good title, you know? I don't lie. When did this happen? Oh, like a month ago. <laughs> it was recent. <laughs> it was recent. It wasn't long ago. <laughs> but yeah, it's not the same. Like, you have, there's like levels to this, right? Like, you can compare this to like a family vlogger who's like, oh, who was it? Didn't the LeBrant family like imply their kid was dying and it was a lie? Like, that. Problem. Problem. Don't do that. But then, like, I don't know. Ooh, is my sim pregnant? Is not the same thing. <laughs> um, the Le the LeBrant family is really horrible <laughs> on like so many levels. Um, for a lot of reasons, they they're really just up there with like top tier, one of the worst people on YouTube probably. But um, are we surprised? No. Is it news? Not really. <laughs> anyway, I feel like a lot of times those family vlog type channels are like that, unfortunately. Um, but the, the, the Brant family is a lot. Can I show you something? I'm sorry, you've probably already seen this, but I know there's some of you who probably haven't seen it. So I want to show you. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna show you this. You've probably, seen, it's like a meme. You've probably seen this. This article has said, this article calls it, Christian star, internet star, inexplicably announces he lost his virginity on Twitter. Gets roasted. And he tweeted this. And now he makes clickbait YouTube videos putting his kid died. Anyway, this is really funny. I, I still think about this. You've probably seen it, but I still think about this. Hashtag marriage rocks. <laughs> so 
anyway, it's like a whole other level. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't, I truly, it's unbelievable. Um, that's real. That's not a joke. That's real. He actually, I remember when he posted that. It might still be on his Twitter. He may have not even deleted it. Truly something else. Anyway, so sorry. I know this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> but, um, I had to keep you in the loop. You had to know. Um, okay, this is gonna be a really nice garage. And then the rest of the rooms will do like... Oh, where should the door go? I feel like, oh, we need columns. Instant divorce right there. Oh my God, could you imagine if the person you were with tweeted that? I literally cannot think of anything worse than that happening. I, I genuinely, I can't, I, I'm just, I'm like thinking about the, the context of this. Like, was she like next to him when he posted that? Like, were they, st <laughs> oh my God. I can't, I have, I've stopped thinking about it. I can't think about it. It makes me uncomfortable. I really, I have to stop thinking about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is too much for me. They, like, drafted it together. <laughs> He's like, hey, honey, what do you think about this one? Uh, should I change the wording? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Wild of things, Jordan. Lena, thank you for the subs. Oh, I missed your bits, clown. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, get, I'm getting to it. Clown, thank you for the bits, too. Um, I really appreciate that. And Crystal and Hallie and Grau and, and Trap, thank you all. Strawberry Lucy, Tis. I hope I didn't miss anything else. I'm so sorry. I might move those back windows, depending on... Maybe I'll do it like this. I didn't hear what they did because I'm analyzing the Dylan diaries, but they give off a weird vibe. <laughs> oh, you just keep it up. Just keep on going. Have a great time. We're not talking enough about the hundred emoji either. No, I know. We, something, we, somebody needs to address that. We do need to talk about that for a second. The hundred emoji. It's unacceptable. Okay, I think, I think, oh, that's right, the whole house is on a platform. Slice that down. Okay, that works. We were talking about the LeBrant family. I was making fun of them. <laughs> They're problematic family vloggers, so I don't feel bad, but we were just talking about them. And then I got super distracted. I was, sometimes when I'm trying to build, I like totally lose my train of thought. So I apologize. <laughs> I was just building and then all of a sudden I was like, sorry, I'm streaming. There's a chat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to raise the entry. I think that's my plan. I think this is what we'll do. We can, we can think about that as we do the floor plan still. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I like this house. I think this is pretty nice. It'll work really well for the space. Do you know what? I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about those eight passengers people. I had never heard of them before until I started seeing people talk about like the, the problematic things they've done on TikTok. But that woman, the mom is like something else. I could not believe the kind of clips I was seeing from her. She's like evil. Yeah, but those eight passengers people, bad, bad. 
Um, also, hey, Wendy, it's good to see you. <laughs> um, anyway, I same thing. I think I think they're YouTubers. Maybe they're TikTokers. I don't know. All I know, I've seen like clips, but um, I think. Anyway, I just, I feel bad for them. I feel bad for their kids, especially. Um, I'm making a blue suburban, by the way. This was always the plan. It was always gonna be a blue suburban. Um, we're trying to go back to our roots. Okay, I think, anyway, I'm not like super up to date with YouTube drama usually, but sometimes I see a TikTok and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is kind of scary. Um, can I use this? Maybe I'll put the, Mm. None of them are like the right color of brick. Maybe I will not do that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to watch more TikTok stuff than just Sim stuff. Well, that's the thing. I don't know how I got on this side of TikTok because like, I don't really interact with drama stuff that often. Um, but I've been seeing a couple things about them recently. Um, do you know what? Something on TikTok, so there used to be this thing, um, well, there still is the thing, but it doesn't work, that's the problem. You should be able to like say, I'm not interested and like hide this sound and hide videos from this user, right? And I use this a lot because I see a lot of things on TikTok that I'm like, I do not stand, I can't deal with this, go away. And it broke, like, all the people that I had previously been, like, hide, hide, I don't want to see you, they're showing up again! Ugh. No, 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 it's still there, but I know how, I know how to do it, you, like, hold down and say hide there's from the user, but it doesn't work, like, they still show up. I know how to do it, it's like the, the feature, you, it lets you do it, but it doesn't work. And, like, I... I used to very frequently block people <laughs> that did things that bothered me like that, but I feel like I probably shouldn't do that anymore. Like, I feel like, uh, not to be like, I'm a YouTuber, I'm like, it's such a big deal, but like, I, did, I don't mean it like that, but I feel like I maybe I, I probably shouldn't just block random people <laughs> who irritate me. <laughs> I don't want them to like, see it and like, I don't know. Um, so I, I don't want to block them anymore, but I don't know, I just, I don't want to see these things. I should. Well, it depends what it is. There's like some people I feel comfortable blocking, but other times I'm like, you didn't do anything wrong. I just don't want to see like, for example, I keep this girl, I keep seeing this girl that's like, um, speculating a lot about Jojo Siwa's relationships and I don't want to see it. Like I, Jojo deserves to be left alone. Let the girl just vibe. Let her, I don't care if she's back with Kylie. Like, I don't care. I just want her to be happy. I don't want to speculate. Like, I don't want to see that. And I keep saying, go away. And it doesn't go away. She's not, like, doing anything wrong. I just feel, like, really uncomfortable with, like, the speculation of a, a teenage girl's relationships. Like, I don't really want to see that. <laughs> you know? Like, I just want her to be left alone. So. Um. But, anyway. Whatever. <laughs> Like, if someone's making, like, I just, I think about myself in that situation. If somebody was making TikToks about me like that, I would be so miserable. I would be so sad. I would be so uncomfortable. Like, I, I mean, God forbid I ever go through some sort of public breakup. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that's, like, my worst nightmare. <laughs> like, I just, I, oh, but... Anyway, <laughs> Wonder Woman and Santana and Gabrielle and Lori and Livy and Amethyst and Wendy, everybody, thanks for the bits and stuff. Especially with people like Jojo Siwa, who she's so young. She's so young. And like, these are her like first relationships and they're being blasted everywhere. Just like, let her be. She's 18, no longer a child. Yeah, 18 is so young. I think people forget this. She might be an adult because she's 18. She is so young. She's so young still. 18 is so young. <laughs> like, especially, I don't know, she's a teenager. Um, I don't know. But, anyway. <laughs> I'm only 22. 18 is young. Um, 
Okay, I think... <laughs> this is something that <laughs> when you kids grow up... <laughs> <laughs> when you're 18, you don't feel that way, but then when you get past 18, you're like, they're 18 year olds are still in high school a lot of the time. You know? They're young. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my floor plan. <laughs> yeah, I think that like the relationship speculation is even harsher for a person who is that young. You know, like it's easier to handle when you're a little bit older, but. <laughs> I think... So, these rooms, how do I want to go about this? <laughs> I don't really know. Hmm... Maybe I'll get, like... I might just fill the whole thing up one higher. It can be really short ceilings. I don't mind. I love them. I love the short ceilings. Um, Julian and Sunny and Wonder Woman, thank you for the subs and bits too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I think... I don't know how I want to do this. Sorry about Dan yelling. <laughs> He's playing Dead by Daylight. Um, I'm trying to figure out, so I want to have, we probably need to have a bedroom downstairs, is kind of what I'm thinking. We probably need to have a bedroom over here. Um, I could probably get it, like, over there. And then, maybe if we did something like, like that. Or like, oh stop, 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 stop. We could do it like that, and then we could have the door into the garage could be there. And then we could do like, Karina, I didn't build the last house a few days ago. I built it like a month ago. We're on a new generation, so I wanted to get a new house. Um, that's what this one is for. It's not that I didn't like the old one. <laughs> We're just on a new generation, so I wanted to build something new so we could have something different, you know? Um, what's the point in having a garage? Well, there isn't much of a point in having a garage. It's mostly just for fun. Obviously, we don't actually need it. Um, but I kind of like the idea of having a garage just for fun. Um, and also because my sim, her, um, her new wife, or like, almost wife, they're engaged, <laughs> uh, she is gonna be in the athlete career, so she's gonna have, like, gym equipment, um, so it's probably, like, it's a good spot to put the workout gear, um, so that's kind of the idea, we can just shove the workout gear in there, and then have a, a spot to put it, it's kind of what I'm thinking, at least, um, Can I put the kitchen in like this? Or should I have that be like the dining room? There could be a little dining table there. But then this whole space is empty. Oh, we should switch it. Well. Garage for Simi collection. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm picturing like, obviously these counters aren't going to stay, but I'm just, I just want to show you like the thought process. Um. The kitchen would be kind of like there. Maybe the fridge could go next to this thing. I have a fridge in my inventory. But like we'll do the kitchen like that. Maybe we could have a little, um, we could do an island even. There could be a small table here and then, well, it's big enough that we could probably, we could probably do it even a little bit differently. Wait. Oh yeah, we are gonna play Minecraft. I'm not gonna finish the build tonight, I don't think. We have a lot of furnishing to do, so I'll have to probably finish it tomorrow, but... Um, we are gonna play Minecraft tonight, don't worry. Um, that's the plan. We're gonna play Minecraft with Dan in like 30 minutes. Um, I usually get off stream at 7, but we're gonna stay live longer and play Minecraft at 7. So... Anyway, I'm picturing, like, what if, um, the kitchen was, like, there? 
And then... What if we switch it so that the TV is, like, over here? I'm just gonna put some, like, filler furniture again. I'm just trying to space this out. The TV is, like, over here. There's a big rug, okay? And then this is the dining room. Same as before. That'll be the garage door. That works. It's a nice size. There's a good entry. And then we have a bedroom downstairs. That can be like grandma's bedroom. And then upstairs, we can get like a really big room there. That can be the ensuite bathroom. Hmm. That's tiny. That's a teeny, tiny, tiny little room. Can I make it bigger? Don't like that that much. <laughs> it actually bothers me a lot. Ooh, yikes. Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. Is that the windows clipping? Yikes. Okay. <laughs> is it not weird to walk through the living room from the kitchen to get to the dining room? Well, my house is like that. My house is like a, a square though. Um, my house, well, my house is kind of like this, like, but picture if the wall was like here <laughs> and this is the living room, this is the kitchen, this is the dining space. Um, so I think in a lot of smaller houses, you see stuff like that. Um, I don't think it's weird to walk over there to go to the dining table. It makes sense. It's fine. Maya and Bug and Bread Boys and Wendy and Louie and Monique and Living With Life and Butt and Ducky and Violin and Shoney and Zane and Slinky and Julian and Sunny. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, I think this is fine. I think... My... You don't like how the kitchen is in a separate room. How is the kitchen in a separate room? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't have like a dining room room, but I have a dining table and we call it the dining room, you know? <laughs> Even though it's just like behind the couch. <laughs> um, but anyway. I think... Fancy... Fence. Fancy railing. Cool. I think that works. And we've got, like, three bedrooms upstairs. Again, this is gonna be, the big one will be the parents' room, and then they've got room for two kids, and then eventually a third kid when grandma dies. And then three bathrooms, that's pretty nice. How do I make my boyfriend stop saying The Sims is a bad game? Bestie, I'm gonna give you some, some big sister advice, okay? If your boyfriend is, like, constantly putting down your interests, that's, like, really uncool. <laughs> Like, I know a lot of boys are like, mm, I'm a real gamer, I don't play The Sims. That's so annoying. Like, if he's if he's actually putting down something that you like, that's stupid and he's a loser. I'm not kidding. Like, it's just, it's not fair. Like, it's, you don't talk like that to him about his games and his games are stupid to you probably, right? Like, it's just, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> like, a, a real person and a real friend even, if you like really liked something, they would be interested in it too and they want to hear you talk about it and like maybe want to see you play because like, oh, you love this thing so much. Like, um, that's normal. What's not normal is to put down things that people enjoy, <laughs> especially what you care about, you know? Like if you're supposed to be dating someone, you should, you know, try to express interest in their interests or at the very least, you know, bare minimum, respect their interests. <laughs> um, but. Anyway, um, I'm really sorry that he's doing that. That's not fair to you. So, 
Bumbelina and Chinchilla and Jess and VJ and Jordan and Megan and Rachel. Thank you all for the subs and bits. Megan too, thank you so much. I don't mean to like call your boyfriend a bad boyfriend. I don't mean to hurt your feelings or anything, but um, if that's something that like really bothers you, you would be very much in within your rights to talk to him and be like, hey, I don't think this is cool. Like, I like this thing and it hurts my feelings when you talk about it like this, you know? Um, but anyway, <laughs> you don't need to put up with people making fun of you for no reason. Especially if they're supposed to care about you, you know? You don't need to deal with that. I think, um, I like this. I feel like it's going well. I'm gonna put some stone in the bottom of this. Cause I want it to be shiny and concretey. Cause that's my garage. Oh, we can put like a little step with the platform. It'll be so cute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the thing, Lori. Like, so for example, I don't think Dan cares about Animal Crossing that much, right? I don't think Dan is like big into Animal Crossing, nor do I think he wants to play Animal Crossing ever. But like, I bought some Amiibos a couple months ago and he was like really excited to open them with me and was like, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Like, we're gonna open the Amiibos, we're gonna see who's in there. Like, that's kind of fun, right? When when a person like respects your interest and express interest in it too, you know? And then you can sort of share it. <laughs> um, that works out for everybody. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Dan puts up with me talking about so much random stuff. <laughs> I just go on and on and on about The Sims. Okay, so you know how I make these videos where I just ramble on and on about The Sims? Guess who has to hear that first? And then again when I make a video on it. <laughs> Guess who just has to hear me like word vomit about The Sims? And then I collect my thoughts, write them down, and then make a video on it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, cool, and Miss Whitehead and Titanium, thank you for the subs, but, anyway. <laughs> no, Dan knows so much about The Sims. I, look, Dan knows more about The Sims than you guys do, probably. I, like, not all of you, because you actually pay attention and he doesn't. But Dan hears so many things that I tell him. <laughs> he doesn't even play. But he also, like, edits all my videos, so he watches all of my videos, like, twice, you know? My video today, he had to watch, like, four times because I repeated myself so often in it that, like, it was so hard to cut down. <laughs> Dan told me, so, when he edits my videos, usually he'll, like, cut out all the dead space, right? So I recorded for, like, f I think the final recording, I, I deleted, like, three of them. The final one, the final take, I did it all in one was like 45 minutes long and when he cut out all the dead space like the not speaking parts it was like 26 minutes long and then the actual video is 13 minutes long meaning i repeated myself the whole video half of that was garbage because <laughs> i like kept saying it over and over again to get a better take <laughs> It's not always that bad, but today, today I was, I was not doing good at recording. I was like stumbling all over my words. It was not going well. But anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you just have those days, you know, where you just can't speak. <laughs> today was one of those days. Anyway, it was kind of funny when I saw how long it was actually after it all got cut down. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think it turned out well. Um, I think the video turned out well because I had to record it so many times. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is the kind of video, like, I don't usually script my videos either. Um, but like, this is the kind of video that I like had. I usually, for videos like talking Sims videos, I'll do like an outline. Like, I won't like script it, but I'll have like bullet points, you know? And I'll just talk. This is the kind of one that I was like writing more in my brain first, you know? More than just bullet points. 
But anyway, I don't really script things. Usually I just bullet point them out. Even like, so for example, I posted a video like yesterday where I did like a, a kit wish list. Um, and with that one, I made like a PowerPoint. <laughs> um, and so first I made like a bullet point list and then I put that into a PowerPoint and then I made it in a video, you know? But anyway, really live with life? I don't remember that. That's kind of fun. Um, but anyway, <laughs> you like when I do PowerPoints? <laughs> Something is kind of funny about making PowerPoints. It's like I'm doing a class presentation, except it's my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's so dumb. I really like them. I think it's really fun. Um, so I, I'm glad that you guys also think they're fun because I think they're fun to make. <laughs> There's just something like really silly about them. Um, can you whisper a mod? Yeah, Pixie Dust, you can. Um, there are, I don't know specifically who's gonna answer you first, but someone will type with a sword and you can click on their name. Um, anytime you need to whisper a mod, feel free. Danya, there you go. Oh, Christine. Jess. You got choices. <laughs> You've got choices. Um, the world is your oyster. You have many, many options. Um, okay, I think... I like that floor. That'll be nice. This will be a good-sized house. Ooh, who will they pick? <laughs> Ooh. All right. Um, Lisa and Greg and Tice, thank you for the subs, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I think... Wait. <laughs> Sorry, that person I... Yeah, okay. Um, I thought they got their account deleted. Anyway, that person who I told you before that was harassing me, um, and then in the chat, and then went to DM people, they're doing it again today! They watch my streams every day! They're banned! And they still somehow mess it. If you get any weird whispers from some random account, they're on a roll. Just block them, it's fine. <laughs> they literally watch my streams every day. It's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> They're like, oh, you called? This is my moment. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> anyway, I don't, not, just for, so we're clear, my feelings aren't like hurt. It's just annoying that they're like messaging people in chat because then you guys got to deal with it. It's one thing when I have to deal with it, but when you have to deal with it, it's annoying. So if you just, if you get any weird DMs, just block them. It's fine. From, honestly, if you get any weird DMs, DMs ever from anyone, ever, just block them. You don't need to deal with that. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> so weird. Um, I don't know what kind of bathrooms I want to do. Maybe I'll try and do, like, cuter ones. Let's make, like, a cutesy little family bathroom that's, like, more exciting than normal, you know? Um. I think... You know, we, I feel like we all together, we have a lot of bonding experiences. <laughs> it's all very, very interesting. Um, I'm gonna get like a, I have an idea for a bath mat. I wanna use like the little whale one and I'm gonna put like some dirty clothes on the floor and stuff. That's my vision. Parenthood, parenthood. But this has like a cute whale swatch. I'm not lying, there we go. I told you it has a whale swatch. I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. Okay, I think. I think, I think, I think, I think. I always do this and people are like, you're gonna hit your head, but I'm gonna do it again. Medicine cabinet above the toilet. 
Um, I think... That'll work. That's too high. Put it there. No, put it there. Okay. Yeah, and if the cabinet's up high enough, you won't actually hit your head, so it's fine. Let's get, like... Well, maybe just the one bathrobe will be fine. I don't have a medicine cab- Well, no, there's a medicine cabinet in this room. There's not one in, like, my bathroom, but in the other bathroom, there's a medicine cabinet. But it's, like, on the wall. The medicine cabinet's, like, here. But it's smaller. And, like, a mirror. Um, that's, like, most of my experience with medicine cabinets is like that. Where they're mirrored on the front. Basically, like, this part is a mirror. I don't know. I think that's common, right? Right? Um... No, ugly towels. Get the other one. The one has pretty swatches. That one. Good. Better. Gosh. Hi, Dan. Oh, you heard that? <laughs> Sorry. I think he almost died, or did die, in Dead by Daylight. Um... Was that Dan or outside my window? <laughs> There's no way to know for sure. Was it Dan in Simsy's stream or was it in my real life window? Who knows? I might put this on the back of the door. I like that better. I know it's like not gonna function properly, but I like the look of it better, so. Whatever. I'll do it. I don't care. Ugly. Yeah, he's on a roll tonight, I think. Um. Okay. Yay! Like a bread roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should make bread this week. Maybe on Saturday I'll bake bread. Thoughts on that? Not for you, it's for me. But I'll tell you about it. Um, I think technically a lot of medicines tell you not to keep it in the bathroom because of moisture. Interesting. I've never put medicine in a medicine cabinet. I always put like, I don't know. Here's my face wash. <laughs> um, Mav, I do have some things in my inventory, but I, I placed them. Um, so like I use the toilet and the sink from my inventory. I don't worry. Um, I didn't save everything. I just saved the expensive stuff and I did use the things I had. I didn't have any decorations, though. Um, don't worry. I'm doing the right thing. I'm placing what I need to be placing. Um, I think... Starlight Rose, thanks for the gifted subs! And Elizabeth and Starry Night, thank you for the subs too. Lisa, um, and Greg and everybody, thank you so much. Um, okay, I think... Can I get a fake? I kind of want to use this. I don't know if it's dumb for me to do that because I don't know like if it's going to make my bathroom not functional. But I want to. So maybe I will. And then we'll test it later. <laughs> Monster, thanks for the two months too. Um, clothes not in the hamper. Classic. All right. And then this bathroom. I have a shower. I have a toilet. I have a sink. Oh, I have a hot tub. Do I have space for this anywhere? I could put it, like, over there. I could also put it on my patio that I made. Ah, uh, why not? Let's use it. Why under? Well, it's 
Because I don't want to just stick it in the middle of the room because your sims can't walk. So what I'm going to pretend is that your sims have shoved the clothes up against the edge. It's not under, it's up against the edge. You get it? That's the idea. <laughs> um, okay. I think... This bathroom's really big, and it doesn't need to be. I want to pick a different tile. Maybe I'll use, like, this one or something. Do I know when I'll play Sims Medieval again? No, I don't. Um, well, I need to figure out what day next week. It'll be next week. But I don't know, like, exactly what day. Maybe on, like, Tuesday we could do it. That could be fun. We have a tub. This is a tub. It's a shower tub combo, so that, that base is covered. Um... But yeah, I think maybe we'll do it on Tuesday or something. Okay, I'm using these fake hampers. Because, um, I don't want to have laundry. <laughs> but I want, like, the look of the, the decorative items. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get it. You understand. I'll put that somewhere else. I might use a different sink. I might get, like, a cabinet. Yeah, there's a fake hamper in the base game. This one doesn't work. It's been in the base game since the beginning. Since day one. Oh, really, Johnny? That's great. I'm excited for you. No more Wednesday mornings. Okay, I think a big counter will be nice. We can put, like, some decorations on it, too. Um... But yeah, if I'm gonna have, like, a bunch of small children, I'm sorry, I can't have laundry in this Sims house. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> I'm not capable of that, I apologize, but I'm just not. Um. Okay. I think... Hmm... You can smell this bathroom. I feel as though that's not good. <laughs> I feel like that can't be a good thing. Right? Fresh linen? Maybe they've got a fresh linen candle. Um, okay, I think... I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna get... Honestly, it would be fun to have a robe. Maybe in the green. Sure. Rug stained with pee. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not what I was going for, but sure. That could be the vibes if you want it to be. Alright. I'm gonna put soap and a toothpaste. Toothbrush, I mean, not toothpaste. Toothbrush. Soap. Toothbrush. Cute! See, isn't that cute? Don't you like that? It's simple. It's, it's sweet. I don't know. Maybe I'll get another medicine cabinet. I'm gonna spend so much money on the bathrooms in this house. It's fine. It's all just decorations, because I already have the actual bathroom stuff, right? So it's fine. Because I already have the bathroom stuff, right? Right? It's fine. No, I still haven't played Unpacking. I probably would really like it, though. I've heard so many good things about Unpacking. 
Um, this is only a three bathroom house. It's not a, a ton of bathrooms. And I saved all the toilets and stuff from the old house. So we save a little bit of money doing that, which is good. Um, okay. Would I stream it? I mean, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's part of the thing about that hope. I like, I've heard that, um, cause it's like really short and it's $20. Like, I don't know if I want to, um, convince all of you to buy it. <laughs> that's the thing. It's hard because like, I, I have to like play the game before I know if I like the game or not, but like, I'd probably play it on stream and I, I would feel really bad if like we played it and then we ended up not liking it and a bunch of you had bought it because we played it on stream and you thought we would like it. You know, I just, um, does that make sense? Anyway, maybe I'll try it. We'll see. Um, oh yeah. Putting the base game folded towels on the laundry baskets is going to be so cute. Wait. Base game, base game, base game. No! Where? These. Look. You can like put these towels up on top of the laundry basket. How nice is that? It's yellow. Wait, two sims when I left it was just Jedward? Well, it's not, it's not two sims really. One of the sims that died um, was just my gen eight heir's sister. So she was an elder and she died. Um, so it was very sad, you know, cause we liked her and all and we we're gonna miss her, but it wasn't like we had a, um, a sim that we were really attached to in the household that I killed or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna put this litter box in the garage. No, she wasn't harmed, but it is funny. Are we gonna play Minecraft? I'm messaging Dan to find out. Cause that was the plan and I am I am down to do that still. Um, okay, I think, oh my goodness. Danina, thank you for the 53 month resub. Um, and PG, and Kiko, and Lightning, and Alpha, and Lady Wind, and Tyra, and Gooby, and Monster, thank you all for the subs, too. Um, this garage door is actually from Snowy Escape. Um, I think it works pretty well for this. Alright, well... It's going. <laughs> it's, it's certainly going. We have a lot we need to do still. We can work on the kitchen a tiny bit, because I have all the kitchen appliances still. Um, oven, fridge, fancy trash can, cow plant, yes. Also, hi dad. <laughs> How are you? I'm building a new house for my sims. And then me and Dan are gonna play Minecraft. Okay. Oh, dad, you'll like this. I put one of my Sims in the pond earlier. He's dead. <laughs> I think you'll love to hear about that. <laughs> Bean and Teresa and literally a PG. Thank you for the steps. Here's my current graveyard progress. Um, I think by the time we get to the end of this generation, we'll have the whole front yard filled, which was my whole lifelong goal. I'm just so happy. I feel like everything is working out just how I wanted it to. I can't wait. Love that kitchen. That's really nice. Those are nice appliances. <laughs> Sloan and Fiend, thank you for the subs too. Um, okay. All right. We don't have a spellcaster gravestone still, so that's... Um, that is on our to-do list. We have to try and get a spellcaster gravestone. <laughs> okay, when I say it like that, it sounds bad, but that is actually on my to-do list. 
so we don't have a servo gravestone either but that one i think will be harder for me to achieve i've literally never played with servos in the sims 4. mermaids don't have a special grave it sucks they don't have a special grave there was a new gravestone type added in island living but it was just like a regular like any sim could have it it's only if the, it's the grave when it's floating on water um so we didn't get like a mermaid specific gravestone you see like this one this is the alien grave this one right here and these are the vampire graves obviously um but we don't have a special one for mermaids alas um add a servo to one of the families from the gal oh we could just get a servo off the gallery that's true pro tip killing your servo in the rain is fun servos are the robots that you can make with discover university maybe we should do like a servo playthrough that could be fun hmm killing your servo at the beach is super fun Hang on, let me get a sticky note out here. Okay. Oh, this one is from before Christmas. It's talking about the gift I need to buy for my mother. <laughs> That's quite funny. Okay, sorry. Servo on beach. Spell caster. Okay. Anyway. Ways to kill Servo, I write it down. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, the mint gen of Not So Berry is a scientist. Do you know what's interesting? What if, pre-starting the Not So Berry challenge um, with Gen 10, same sim, but we put it on long lifespan for a little bit, and we send that Gen 10 sim to university, because we haven't played with it in a while, and then we do, like, the whole servo thing, and then we do the not-so-very rules with that sim. So we'll, like, use that sim for a while. I know it's hard for us to commit to this right now, because we haven't actually given birth to that sim yet. My sim is pregnant, so we're talking about this baby right here. <laughs> Um, is who we'll do that with. That could be kind of fun. We could play through university and then, and then do not so bury. Okay. And they'd get like a head start in their career and stuff probably too, which would be good because that would make the career easier <laughs> for not so bury. <laughs> okay. No, these flower bushes aren't debugged. These are from romantic garden stuff. Um, I don't have any debug plants out here. Oh, I didn't get a better mailbox yet. I need to do that really fast. Hang on. Um, I'll put it like right here. I love this kind of mailbox. I think it's so pretty. Don't be shy to cheat through university. <laughs> we could. Okay, well anyway, I think um, we're gonna have to finish this build tomorrow. Uh, the plan for the rest of the stream we're gonna play Minecraft for a couple hours, I think, with Dan. I know he's still live, um, he's not done yet, but we're gonna play Minecraft now for the next, like, two hours or so, because I promised I would, and I kind of want to. So, <laughs> I think I might do that. I will, I might run and go pee for a sec first. Um, it was your birthday! Melon, I can sing you a birthday song. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, we're not gonna raid him, because I'm staying live. Um, he might get off stream in a second, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go run and pee then. Um, I might run some ads while I pee, just so that we can, oh, I can't, it won't let me, never mind. I won't run ads, I'm just gonna go pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't do anything while I'm gone. Give me two seconds, and then we'll play Minecraft. Yes? Good. <laughs> 